Joe says, morning, John. It says, oh, no, I've done that one. Morning, John. Training here in Chandler's Ford says, Kath. Um, Anne says, good morning. Loving your shirt. Hillary says, lovely shirt. The other Jan says, morning. The water butts are filling up nicely. Angeline says, it's beautiful and sunny in Aberdeen. So maybe you've got the sun up there in north and we're going to have the rain down here. Uh, anyway, uh, the third way of getting in touch, go to the website, www.sangstreet.com. You go to the website, you click on watch the show live. Look, Horn Furniture's back in stock. Horn Furniture's, I saw Jason, I'm not on with him, he's on with Stuart whenever he's in next, but I saw him at the Festival of Quilts. Anyway, click on uh, Watch the Show Live. You get the little box with me in it, little white box on the right-hand side there. If you write a message in there, you need to be logged in to do that. Um, you can, oh, you're going to Upton on 7. That's where um, uh, Sally Stevens lives there. Uh, anyway, go down the page, scroll down the page, uh, you will see in a minute there will be two columns, show deals, and then this is everything that's coming up in the next five hours. So these are all your early birds. You'll pay the final price if they get crashed, if they get crashed. Some of them are already getting the special price, like, they, like the, uh, the fat quarterback and things like that. So that's a fun hour there of gorgeousness. There's the Jason Yenta quilt there. It's all in a different order. You have to scroll down to look at waddings. Uh, then we've got some. There's the other. There's the K Facet quilt. That's the one Delphine's going to be actually demoing. It's the same as the one behind me, but in dark colours. We'll show it to you later. There's the one that's behind me. Then you've got. Now, here you go. Rebecca Reed. So there's Block of the Month. Oh, hang on. These are all the past ones. Today's is the basket one. There. That's today's. It's funny on some of them, they've put their whole kit and others have just put the pictures then. KN6675, why is the code not there? Oh, okay, KN, KN6675, did you say? Yeah, if you're looking for that one. Then there's her sewing, there's her sewing thingy. Then there's her craft caddy that we didn't show, show the craft caddy there. And now they're in the same colourways as the needle cases. So if you're going to make the needle cases, you make the craft caddy to match. I know, lovely, aren't they? Uh, then there's all bits and bobs there, tools. The iron's gone back up to its regular price. Look, what's that one there? Oh, oh, look. Okay. Is my book or not on there? Oh, it is there. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. My book. My book. Like, yeah, now when we left yesterday, there were 90 something, weren't there? 97 or something like that. Uh, right, hang on. 8.15, still dark in Islington. I don't like it. Uh, Leslie says, morning, had a terrible storm in Hertfordshire. Thunder made the house shake and we lost power momentarily. Yet yeah, Lizzie Curtis put that she had a thunderstorm for two hours last night, didn't she? Right, okay. So, shall we start with um, early birds? Got early birds, early birds, early birds. A whole hour of them. Jolly old Santa panel. It's not Christmas today, but we're carrying on from yesterday's theme. Wait, let me make sure I'm in the right place. Here we go. Here comes Santa Claus. For those of you who already checked out today, well done. Your P&P's paid for. And it's going down to Jolly old Santa panel from 13 99 to 10 99 £10 and 99 pence. Huge! At 90 centimetres it is. With the fabric. You've got... Very happy, jolly, laughing Santa. Big snowflakes. Uh, morning, John. Raining in Chandler's Ford. Good day to stay in and watch Shane Street from Jackie. Oh, somebody else just messaged Chandler's Ford, Jackie, as well. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, good morning, John and team. Raining here in Aylesbury. Have a great day from Rosemary. Oh, dear. Lots of rain. Good for the garden. The garden needs it. Nicola says, morning from a very sunny Devon. Oh, it seems it's nice at the top and the bottom. But just a bit wet in the middle. Oh, let me move out that. There you go. Penzance is sunny, apparently. Morning, John and team. Lovely day here in Penzance from Kathleen. Isn't Penzance right down at the bottom? Oh. The removal men are in again. 10 99 for that panel. Single figure. Sing it's not Christmas today. It's not Christmas. Just we just because we did early birds. Got very big hands, doesn't he? What's oh, that's his belt buckle? Oh my word! I thought he was looking on an iPad. Also wet in Kent, says Carol. Pouring in Peterborough, says Crazy Lorraine. Six left. Six of those left. 
Zeb Breadcraft bag next. This is nice. This. It also comes in uh, like a leopardy print as well. But this is the zebra one here. So what you've got here, you can use this as a makeup bag, craft bag, knitting bag. So around the edges, look, you've got uh, touch fastening pockets there. You've got stitched up pockets there. You've got pockets on the end there. Then if you open it out, it's got a lovely lining in it. You've got big pockets inside there. Lots going on, lots going on. Not $24.99, oh no. <clears throat> Excuse me. For, what? We used to take a 10 pounds off that. 10 pounds came off that price. 10 pounds, I oh, know. So 14, I'm thinking Christmas presents now. Cat likes this, producer cat likes this. You wouldn't fit enough clothes in there for a sleepover. She's going for a sleepover this weekend, apparently. Where are you going? She's going to South End. Oh, you always, oh and now every time you go to South End, something rock goes wrong. She got COVID last time, right? The time before that, the rains were so heavy, they couldn't see the motorway. You going with your mum? Oh, yeah, she was, yeah. What night are you out in Camden? Friday night in Camden. What? How, how, do you know, how do you know you're not going to be bored? Okay, so this is Kat, producer Kat, who used to work here, doesn't work here anymore, right? She's driving to Gloucester. No, getting the train to Gloucester. Then her friend's taking her from Gloucester to Southport. Then they get South End, South End. Then from South End, they get changed and get the train into London. Then they've already booked the train home. They're clubbing all night long in Camden, getting the 4.30 in the morning the next morning. Back to uh, South End. And then at lunchtime, she's got to get the train back to Birmingham. Oh, that's a nightmare. Oh, yes, train strikes this weekend. Oh, no, it's mail. That's the mail. That's the mail strike. What date's it today? 25th today. Oh, it's Terry's birthday today, by the way. Um, you know, cause there's a, a mail postal strike tomorrow, isn't there? 26th. Munch, I forgot to, didn't know until I went upstairs afterwards. No, we forgot to say happy, what friends are we, right? It was Munch's birthday yesterday. I didn't mention it, Kat didn't mention it. So anyway, we went upstairs and they'd done a little lunch for him. Leopard print bag. I said to him, have you, are you, I, and also he, has, he didn't go out last night because I thought maybe I'd not been invited to the dinner last night. No, he's not planned anything yet. Here you go, leopard print. I say leopard. I'll show you from upstairs, look. So you've got your pocket there with your one-touch fastening. You've got your pockets there that are stitched down. You've got your pockets on the end. And then inside, you've got your lovely deep pockets inside there. So going straight down, $14.99. Morning, John. I had my tattoo yesterday and I love it. Oof. At $14.99. Going to show you price comparison. It's not a direct. It's not direct. It's the same sort of thing from the same place, but different pattern. Uh, at £24. Oops, £24. Ours is leopard, obviously, there's the stars. And ours is £14.99, not £24. That bag matches my slippers. Make sure you get it then, Carol. £14.99. Zebra bag is sold out. I've only got it in the leopard now. Only got it in the leopard. Uh, morning, John. What a fabulous looking quilt behind you from an overcast angle seat. James. James doing it at 12 o'clock. We've got it in that. And we've got it in blue as well. So this is hot frames. And the other one's called cold frames. I know. Uh, morning, John and team. Six weeks of recuperation is going to be very expensive. I need to sew my purse shut. I think. Too many great bargains. Love Jacqueline in Greater Manchester. Will you get better soon, my love? Okay. Single figures on that one now. Now, there's everyone sold out, so that one will follow suit in a minute. That one will follow suit. The Paint the whole world with a rainbow. That's your price. That's your price, right? That's your price. There's no crash on this one. That was a special. That was a special, this one. 
at 6.99. Now, I didn't know we had this one back in stock because when we dressed the set in the morning, we always go, oh, we shouldn't put that one out because we haven't got that one in stock. But we have, obviously. It's a desk organiser. You can use it as a plant pot holder at 6.99. It's quite a big look. Price comparison. Oh, same thing, same thing. £11.49. Blimey, and ours is £6.99. It's good, isn't it? It's plastic. Yeah, simple craft container. What does it say? Ideal for storing sewing, crafting and desk accessories from Hemline. It's cute, isn't it? If you love that rainbow. Have you seen Clive's post this morning? He's made a shirt for the weekend. The one you're comparing it to is... Oh, OK, Nikki. Nikki, thank you. We'll just double check that. The bag, the one we were showing is bigger and has a central zip. No, no, but we, no, no, but we said it was the same bag, didn't we? It's the same kind of bag, yeah. Yeah, what you can pay. It's not the direct comparison. But thank you for pointing out, Nikki. Six ninety-nine. Thimble desk organizer in the rainbow. It's lovely, it's that ombre through the colours, isn't it? Silver inside. Thank you. Rainbow fabric bundle, that'll be this one. So you get half a meter of each fabric. Should be 26.53. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fabrics, three and a half meters, 22 pounds and 74 pence. Oh, no. So that makes it three, three, and I'm just trying to work it out. Seven into 22 goes three, leaving one pound 74. Seven into one pound 74. Three pound 30, three pound 20 something, a half a metre. 324, 324. So you get the pink, the orange, the red, the pale blue, the green, the yellow, the purple. All seven of them for 22.74. Fabulous for your stash. Gorgeous. At 22 pounds and 74 pence. There's your, the web image of your seven colours. Bruce likes to show that because he made that. 22 pounds 74 pence. Keep going through, keep going through. Lots of you coming in this hour. That pink's nice, isn't it? I wonder if that's coral or if that's one of the new ones. I'm not sure now. 22.74. Yeah, it's 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight fabric. So our regular Rose and Hubble fabric. <coughs> Beautiful. Remember you only pay one PMP for the whole day, no matter how many times you check out. Love the colours, love the fabric. Love the fact you're getting it at a discount. Love the rainbow. There you go. Beautiful. Now this, this causes a storm every time we do this. Right now, it's going to sound odd because I'm going to say to you, there's fewer than 100, right? There's fewer than 100 of these, but every time that's your price it doesn't crash right that is your fantastic price it's brilliant this bag so many people multi-buy when they come in for this right so first of all as you can see it folds away really really flat if you're not using it right but it's brilliant for storage so if you open it up right open it up like that then the sides come up there we go oops come on john the sides come up like that, so it's a lovely deep bag. There's the walls that you can put in, the temporary walls that you can put in. Right, then you put it there and there. No phones in the gallery. Then you put it there and you put it there. 
And then look at this, how you can store your fat quarters in here, standing up on end like that so you can see all the colours that you've got. Right now that was third one, two, three, four. That's thirty fat quarters in there, and that's not even full, right? So you could fit about 120 fat quarters in there if you wanted to. Or you don't have to do that. You could open this up and have half meters of fabric in there. Use it as a project bag if you're doing EPP, right? You could put your um your, your papers in one, your fabric in another, you've got little pockets down the side here to put your scissors and your glue pen in, everything like that. And then when you zip it up, you can see straight through. Now what Roxana does with hers is she puts cardboard in the two pockets there to make it more stable. And other people I know, we sent, somebody sent in a picture, didn't they, of them stacked on a shelf in their, in their sewing room. Right, loads of multi-buying. I'm gonna have to be careful with this one. Message on my bottom. I got six of these last time. They are fantastic. Wish I'd known about them before. I bought expensive plastic boxes for my new craft room. The thing is, Karen, you see, when you're not using these, they fold down completely. Take the walls out. They fold down. You saw how thin it was. Whereas a plastic box, if it's empty, you've still got the plastic box, haven't you? Okay, a third of today's stock has gone. Keep going through, lots of people put it in their basket. It's got a lovely handle on it as well if you're taking it, if you're doing a project and you're taking it to a class. I like the fact that the zip goes all the way around, you know, one of those double-ended zips. Look, fantastic, isn't it? Keep going through for that, very, very popular. Uh, what else have I missed off? Unique dustproof fabric storage bag stacks and stores easily. Ideal for storing fibre art products. Outstanding see-through lid. Outstanding see-through lid. Strong supportive handles. Convenient folding divider and store accessories inside pockets. <laughs> oh, excuse me. A whole hour. Well, it's only half an hour left now. Of early bird deals. That's what we're doing if you've just tuned in. Pauline says hello. Julie Horn, morning John and team, didn't know you were presenting today. Yeah, yeah, I'm always down for today. I'm not doing tomorrow now. I was bound to, be, I was bound to do tomorrow, but Rebecca Reed's doing tomorrow and I'm in on Monday instead. Van Collin doing Monday. I've already got five of these bags from Sewing Street. They are brilliant to organise fabric and keep it dust free from Alison in Leicestershire. Thank you, Alison. There's what? Oh, okay, more than two thirds of the stock has gone. There's fewer than 30 now. And how many people got in the basket? 17 people have got it in their basket. If they all buy two each, that's it. That's it, all gone. I'll keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. <coughs> Excuse me. Right here. Oh, sorry, cat. Oh, sorry, I thought you said keep, I thought, right. Check it back, cat, sorry. Sorry, I thought that we were moving on, my bad. There you go. 11.99. Oh. Right, okay, you need to check out because there's more than 30 people in baskets. And I've only got how many left now? Yeah. Okay, there are 22 not checked out, but more than 30 people have got it in their baskets. So you do the math, as they say. 11 99 Eleven ninety-nine. Apparently I'm not being enthusiastic enough. Eleven ninety-nine. I've never done one of these hours before. I've never done an hour of early birds before. It's fantastic, isn't it? So either they're already at a fantastic price like this, or we crash the price. I oh, know. I'm very enthusiastic. I'm this enthusiastic. She'll message in in a minute now. 11.99. Keep going through. I need to check out. I need to move on. Right, single figures of more than 30 people got it in their baskets. Yes. This. My, oh, it's huge. Oh, do you? 
Okay, so normally you get half of this. You're getting a one meter bundle for twenty three ninety eight. Oh, you're getting it for twenty pounds ninety eight, which is ten ten pound fifty, isn't it, for one piece? Yep. Yeah. You don't get two pieces, right? Right, you get, you get one massive piece, you get two metres. Look, you get two metres. It's a bit confusing the way they've written that. I'm not being negative, right? You actually get two metres, right? So it, normally it's a one metre bundle and they've put two in, so they're joined together. Oh, hang on, hang on, is that wrong? Oh, it's it. Oh, okay, so it goes that way, so it's wide. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. So you do get one metre. I'm very curious, because yeah, it's 150 wide, that's why. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Let me say that again for you. Look, so normally, that's what you get. Yeah, that's half a metre, but it's 60 inches wide. I was getting confused that the, the width was the, the, the depth, that's what it was. Yeah, so now you get that, you get that. Yeah, no, no, you don't get two pieces. You'll get one piece, but it's this huge piece here. Now, what is it? It's single-sided, right? So one side is soft. One side has got fusible on it. This is the one that Debbie Shaw, this is the one Debbie Shaw uses nearly all the time in all of her handbags, isn't it? And um, Becky Alexander Frost, who's in next week with me. What you say? Half the stock's gone. Half the stock. The what bag? The fat quarter bag is now sold out. And this is 2098. It's fantastic, isn't it? A tractor's watching. Morning, says Judith. A tractor's picking me up from the airport next week when I go up for the quilt fair in Belfast. Now, I've just got to tell you a story, right? So I was telling Hannah about when I go to Belfast for the quilt fair next week. Now, Hayley's going to be there. Hayley Bryant is going to be there and Hayley, my boss, is going to be there. Anyway, um, I said I'm being picked up by a tractor from the airport and Hannah went, haven't they got taxis? Is it in the olden days and you've got to come on the back of a tractor? Forget it, not realising it was a person's name. Sorry, a tractor. Sorry, a tractor. Look! Yeah, she's cutting corners. She's sending, she's sending a farmhand to collect me. What you say, Hen? Sold out. Sold out. Bond web on a roll. Now this shouldn't. When did we have this as an early bird? Early bird. 23, 19. You get five meters on a roll. Bond web now. Uh, now we've got Delphine today and she's not doing any bond webbing. But Becca Readers. Becca Readers. $23.99 is what this sells for perfectly well on its own. $19.99 for five metres of bond web. Make sure you go through for this. Oh, Becky Alexander Frost says hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. At $19.99, she was at Festival of Quilts at the weekend. She's on next week with me. What? At $19.99. What is Bond Web? Well, it's a fusible. It's a. <laughs> Hannah asked me that question after I said it, just so you know, everyone. Uh, literally, you, it's what Delphine and all the applique um, um, uh, car was using the other day. You draw what you want on the. Well, it depends. Normally, you draw it on the paper side, and then what the other side's fusible. You then iron it to your piece of uh, fabric, you cut it out, peel the paper off, and then you can stick it to another piece of fabric. 1999. Delphine always draws it on the uh, other way round. She always puts it on the um, scrunchy side, glue side. A tractor really looking for seeing you on Thursday. I'll rethink my wardrobe and not where, where my well is. Oh, no, if it's raining, you where your well is. Can you drive in well is a tractor? And can you drive a tractor a tractor? That's what Hannah wants to know. Be funny if she turned up at the airport in a tractor now, wouldn't it? 
Oh yeah, you can drive a tractor in wellies, but can you drive a car in wellies? Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. We yeah, will see that during the day. Mini iron, quilted bear mini iron. Oh. Cat, where's the open one? I can't see it. Here we go. So this is the quilted bear. I'll do it this way. Comes with a travel hard case. $28.99. That's your price. That's your price. It doesn't go down. That's your special price, right? So what you get is inside. Look. Now, if you goggle. Pfft, I'm over, over enthusiastic now, aren't I? Oh, a tractor says, don't tempt me. Oh, I'd love driving in a tractor, a tractor. Anyway, look, if you, um, what am I trying to say? Search engine this, right? You can find this case on its own with nothing in it for 16 pounds, right? Then you unzip it like this. It's even got a little ho holder look for carrying it in. Uh, if you're taking it as a travel iron, then you open it up like this. And inside you get your iron, you get your uh, meter, 1.8 meters of cable. You get your little water jug because it's a steam iron and you get your manual as well. You see all of our designers using this all the time. I'll just take it out quickly. Have a look, right? Look there. So you've got your, uh, this is your little hole, um, opening here to put your water in. That's your steam on, your steam off. Shh. Steam on, steam off. That's your temperature guide there. Then you've also got, this is a lovely little handle. I'll show it this way up for you if you want. Lovely little handle there. So if you've got um, dexterity issues, this is a gorgeous little handle. You've got soft touch around the edge there. The red light comes on when you switch it on, but goes off when it's hot enough. You've got your clip there to put your cable in when you're finished. There's your steam holes and it works beautifully. £28.99. Remember, you get the case with it and you get the jug. Now, I just said, if you um, search engine for a case like that, now I'm not saying it's exactly the same, but have a look right at the case. There, there's a case there. Uh, 16, is it say 16.99? 16.99. Case only that. And I don't think there's, whole, a room, there's no hole for your little jug either. Anyway, that's just to show you, because you get all of that. So if you think of that, take 16, 19, that, that makes the iron 12 pounds. That's ridiculous, isn't it? All our designers using it. Dan, uh, Dawn was using it yesterday, wasn't she? Oh, loads of these went yesterday. That is the price. Don't be waiting for a crash. That's the special price we brought it in at for you. Uh, also, I mean, it, uh, go and have a look at other makes of irons very similar to this. I think you'll be quite shocked. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. Beautiful. Keep going through for that. Keep going through. Steam on, steam off. And then look, you just t oh, take the top off like that to put the water in there. At twenty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Tartan fat quarters. Now these look like they're a different um, texture. They look like they're canvassy and duty. Oh, oh, they're nice. They're polyester cotton, tartan fat quarters, four of them. What's the matter? Right, six ninety nine for four. That's a good. That's a spec. That's at the price. Oh. Oh, Hannah forgot how low these go. That means they're a pound each. Just less than a pound each, aren't they? That one's slightly thicker than the others. Yeah, beautiful, aren't they? Look. So you've got your fat quarter there, which is your quarter of a yard. I think these will be a yard rather than a metre, these. Oh, 54, no, 54 by 45 centimetres they are. Yeah, I think this might be one that Hannah made up, not one that Hayley gave her, because I don't think she should have gone that low at all. Beautiful, aren't they? You get four of those. Now, they're not, they're not like quilting cotton. That's like an open weave. Um, I 
want to say a very light canvas. That one there's slightly thicker. That feels like a, sh uh, like a lumberjack shirt, that one. That one's the same as that one. And then that one is a beautiful, that lovely, that one is. That's got a fleecy side to it, that one. Textile art or anything like that. Or the Hessian we had yesterday, the jute we had yesterday. Be nice if you bought Debbie Shaw's book. I like that one. Shut up. Hannah's being sarcastic to me now. Beautiful, three ninety nine. Keep going through. What? What? Ninety nine and a half p of fat water. Oh, Anne, what she said. Hi, can the not brassy, <coughs> can the bosses not bring Hannah with them? Really would like to meet her. And she and you make my day with your chats from Annie O. Ra Annie O, H Hannah's not allowed out the country. The police have her passport at the moment. I was watching Virgin River last night, you see, and the boy, they've, they've, they've got the man out on bail, Bree's out on bail, but he can't leave the state. So they've taken his passport off him. Hannah's a bit the same, she can't leave Birmingham. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's going, to be a, it's going to be a long day, that one, Hannah, flying out at the crack of dawn and then flying home at night. Oh, she's in Amsterdam that week, anyway. Uh, morning, John. So pleased you're here today. But why did everyone think I was off today? Did I tell everyone I was off today? Working from home with you on the rain is falling outside in potten beds. Potten beds. I think it means potten, Bedfordshire. Anyway, look, these are a pound each. Graphics out. Have I? Are they like in Victoriana? Oh. <laughs> oh, hang on. It's a uh, OQZW17. The picture on the web, the packaging is different. I can't get them out because they've got a security tag on them. <laughs> At seven ninety nine, embroidery scissors, matte silver gold. Right, I'm going to get some scissors and chop that off. Crash, crash, crash! While I get the scissors. Ooh. they're cute. These look. Am I in the right place? Five ninety nine. I can't see you on the app or the website, it's just black. That was yesterday, Catherine. Should we have a look, see if it's working today? No, it's working, Catherine. Refresh your page. Refresh your page. I love you and Hannah, and the chat makes me feel like I'm amongst friends. <laughs> well, me and Hannah aren't friends. <laughs> she just said, doesn't make me feel like I'm amongst friends. She's only joking. Oh, sorry, sorry, Carol. I won't say anything, I won't say anything more. Uh, we, no, actually, you knew that he'd been arrested at the end of the last series, so I'm not, I'm not giving anything away. Thank you for recommending Virgin River. It's a really lovely show. Which series are you on, though? Which series are you on, Carol? The app is working. The app is working today, says Julie. I think Julie watched on the app every day. Anyway, look at these gorgeous little scissors. Look at the, look at the filigree work going on there. Five ninety nine. On Hannah's days off, she watches on the app as well. Come on really close. It looks like what? Beautiful filigree work on there. Look. Barnacle. It's not a barnacle, it's a bit of filigree. Oh, I've just started watching the new series, Carol. You see, I couldn't get into Netflix, but I'm in now. No, you don't get blocked on Netflix. Five ninety nine. Five pounds ninety nine they are. Embroidery scissors, matte silver and gold. Graphics out. Double sided batting tape, yeah. Right, double sided batting tape from Clo oh from Clover. Yeah. 
I've not got you on mine. Oh no, that's what I was saying. Oh, the change of packaging. Used for sewing and crafting. It's half inches wide. You get 12 millimetres, seven and a half yards on the roll. Clover double-sided basting tape. Well, I think it's because the lady that was on it isn't with us anymore. Maybe. Five ninety nine. That's your price. It's not crashing. It's five ninety nine. It's a special price. We brought it in it. Clover double sided basting tape. I shall move on. I've just looked at the time actually. You know you can use it for fabric, paper, plastic, and wood. Next. Ooh. Gutman, Deco. Oh, I've got the. What, what? I've got three of them. I've got two small ones and the big one. So let me just explain what it is. Is you, all these are variegated threads along here, and they're your solid threads to go with the variegated. Now these are for ornamental stitches and decorative back stitching. This isn't for your normal uh, sewing machine stitching. Oh, you can use it in the sewing machine, but don't use it in the bobbin because it's seventy meters of uh, seventy weight. Is that right? Most beautiful ornamental stitch decorative. Deco stitch 70, 70 meters, yeah. Did you know you now can get the app on Apple TV? I'm very happy, says Carol. Oh, I didn't know that. £45.99, pence, these are. Not today, it's early bird specials. Oh, £34.99. So you took £11. Eleven pounds you took off there. That's fantastic, isn't it? These would be brilliant for if you're doing Delphine's artwork, wouldn't they? What have they used it for? They've used it for uh, top stitching cross cushions, straps of bags, things to go around jam jars. I'm wondering if you could do hand tie quilting with them. Here, look, no, look, they've got cross stitch. They haven't got any quilting on here. They've got um, decorative stitch. Oh, well, hang on, though, look. Oh, I'm confused now. I'm not, they're 100% polyester. I'm not, if a quilter's can mess in, could you do hand tie quilting with these, please? I'm thinking you could, but I want, I want an expert to tell me. £34.99. pence. Oh, no. Brilliant. Keep going through for those. Keep going through. Keep going through. Lovely. What's the next one? Smaller version. Same thread. Same thread. But if you didn't want to buy such a big box, these are your reds and your yellows. Your hot colours, I'd say. 22.99 is where it should be. Not today in there. 18.39. Wasn't that the Franco-Prussian War? Oh, no, that was 1860, wasn't it? 18.39. Well, that's well, it's 20 to 7, isn't it? 18.39. Everyone? Okay, 18.39 on a clock is 6.39 at night time which means it's 20 to 7, or 1839, the year I thought was the Franco-Prussian War, but it's not, because that was 1860. Hannah's confused, in all the enthusiasm. Overwhelmed by the prices, she is. £18.39, again, free embroidery, beautiful ornamental stitches and decorative backstitch seams. She wouldn't. Right, morning. I wouldn't hand tie. I prefer to use a thicker thread, a pearl or something. So, thank you, Sharon. Thank you. I just because I don't know. I don't know because I've never done hand tied. So, no, don't use if you hand tied. Thank you. 
Use it for your lovely top stitching though. Use it for your lovely top stitching. Right, I'm gonna move on because I've got a lot to fit in. I've got the blue and greens now. You know where it's going in the price. 18.39. There you go, 18 pounds and 39 pence. There are your blues and your cool colors. Okay. Oh, all the things at the foot, this way for me. Batting tape. This is where, if you want to join pieces of batting, what you do is you don't sew them on top of each other, you butt them edge to edge, and then you iron this on and it joins them together. Fusible seam tape for joining scrap pieces of batting. $9.99. We've got some of our new battings coming up later on today. Not all of them, just some of them. Single figures on that already. Single figures already. $7.99. Keep going through for that. I'm only rushing because I've just seen the time. Have I got what? No. Right, now these, right, these came from Jewelry Maker one day when I was on. And I was like, oh, you don't use these for so. But Rebecca Reed said quite sensibly, if you want to store ribbon neatly or something like that, or what? She keeps all her selvages on them, look. They're, they're called medium. They're not going to fit in your sewing machine. Look at the size of them. They won't fit in your sewing machine. Three ninety nine for eight of them. Have them as a necklace, as, as, oh, I dreamt about Esme last night. How weird is that? At 3 99 you're getting eight of them. Brilliant. I can't believe they're only 3 99 Imagine storing all your lovely ribbons on there. I think I might have to multiply those. Oh, I've done it that way. Three ninety-nine. You get eight. You get eight. Brilliant. Now this next one, I'll be looking forward to in this next one. Right, this was where. It was, oh, it was a Festival of a Quilt special, this one. So what they did, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Right, what they did on the day was you, they put mystery fat quarter bundles with five in, right? But what we've done, put two together so you get ten mystery fat quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or ten. They could be any ten, but look, they're designer. They're all designed. There's no planes in there or anything. Right, now, so what you get is you get 10, right? So I'll show you one for now. You get 10. Look, uh, excuse me. Tula, Lewis and Irene. Isn't that Jason? You enter that one there. Look, oh, Lulu. Oh, um, 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 I can't remember. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, right? So that's what it could be any 10 design. De At the moment, they're £3.79 £3 each at the moment. Which is where a designer fat quarter sits, yeah, £3.79. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what they could have done. This is what they could have done. 27, which makes them all £2.79 each now. That's incredible for designer fat quarters. That's either Annie Downs or, um, or um, Lynette Anderson, isn't it, that one? Oh, oh, that's not your price. Right, you ready? That's Riley Blake, that one, look. Okay, 
right, that makes them £1.99 each. You get 10 designer... Oh, there's a William Morris in there! I can't guarantee that you'll get a William Morris. You'll get designer. Look, 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 look. This is, these are just random bundles they've brought through for me. You're saving £17. That's almost 50% off. Oh, that one. I've, you won't get two of the same one. That's just me muddling them up earlier. That's Lynette Anderson, not Annie Downs. So you get loads sent up to you there. Look, 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 you will get 10. You'll get 10 gorgeous... Uh, excuse me. That's Liberty Wiltshire Shadow. That's is that a poppy cotton one there. They're beautiful, aren't they? Take me home to the place I love... Whatever it was called. Yeah, it's poppy cotton. Oh, I, I don't remember that one. That's nice. Anyway, you, I can't say which 10 you're going to get. I, but you will get 10 beautiful fat quarters for 19.99. Oh, Sharon says, sorry I'm late. I've been watching This Is Wrexham. <laughs> That's nice. Anyway, beautiful. Look, you get 10 designer fat quarters. They're lovely, aren't they? Lulu! Oh, oh uh, that's brilliant. What day did you do this on? It was a festival, of course, especially. It must have been at the weekend. Yeah, that one, the one. Oh, 17th. That was the week before festival, of course. The Wednesday before. Started early, didn't we? Anyway, you get 10 random designer fat quarters for nine. Are you sure that's right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Carol said I wasn't going to buy anything, but thank you. Yeah, they're brilliant, aren't they? Designer fat quarters. I know that one as well. Look there, what's that one? Right, oh, Trady Blake, yeah. Jerry Robinson, planted seeds. Oh, how brilliant is that? How brilliant. You get 10 fat quarters for 19 99 Have you got the fat quarter bag? Fill it. Fill it up. Fill it up. Right, now I've got this um, last one now of the hour. Excuse me. That's because Delphine left her sewing box here the other day and Kat obviously climbed under the table to get it. And then I saw that wafting and I saw the bows all moving. Anyway, look. Do what, what? Three pairs of scissors. I had these. No, I haven't got them. I had them as on the show. Seven inch craft, nine inch dressmaking, four inch needlework. Wonder why they put them in that order. 19 99 that's your special price. That's your special price. 19 99 for three pairs of scissors. Oh, Hannah. At fourteen ninety nine for three scissors. Look, oh, hang on. No, you don't need scissors. These have got proper things so you can keep them in. With the like, but they're safe so they don't fall out. Look, there you go. So there's your nine inches. Hang on, I'll be with you in a second. Hold the line, caller. There's your seven inches. And there's your four inches. And they're sharp. They are sharp. $14.99. I know, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Remember when you're checking out that, oh, look at that. The designer fat quarter bundle. No pictures of fat quarters. I can't put fabric in because we, don't, we can't tell you what you're going to get. But get those, get those as well. They're the best buy of the day, those, um, those uh, fat quarter bundles. Oof. These are brilliant as well, $14.99. Three scissor bundles, seven, nine, and four. Seven, nine, and four. We're going for a break now. Rebecca reads up after the break. She's going to be making, oh, this month's bottom. 
Okay, do you want to have a look at it? Here's today's block of the month, right? This is what we're doing straight after the break. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. There's that. There's the... Don't, yeah, they're, they're, they're lovely. Right, you'll see that in the graphics over the break, so it gives you a chance to check out. Gemma, good morning. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. For a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! I'm ever so sorry, but Rebecca Reed's here, everybody. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? Morning. Morning. Oh, look, I look, I look sort of matchy with this quilt, don't I? No. You know, I do. It's sort of like reds. All right, then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? Yeah, I'm all right, all right. Yeah, Do you have a nice good. stamp festival of quilts? I loved it. I was only there for one day. Yeah. I just had to be here, but it was brilliant. Met loads of great people. I know. Such a laugh. It's brilliant. It was it's lovely, wasn't such it? Such a laugh. I had such a brilliant people, time. Because they were just so funny telling me all their stories. Oh, all the, everybody, all the people there. Oh. oh, I learned so many things. It was fab, and I met Kate. Did I tell you that? I've done an, I've that? Done an advert <laughs> for you tomorrow on tomorrow's show. Mm -hmm. You'll see parts of the interview. Did the advert go out in the break, Bruce? Okay, you'll see it in the next break. You'll see it in the next break. There's an advert because um, um, Rebecca Reed tomorrow is well. You're at Festival Court. You interviewed Kate. Yes, and that was really good. Yeah. Asked him lots of questions. Yeah. Do you know he'd never heard of Barra Breath? Really? Has he not been to, I was going to say he's not been to Wales, but his whole new book is Wales. Wales. Yeah. So my first question was, um, Welsh cakes or Barra Brith? Oh. He said, I've never had Barra Brith. Oh, no, has he had Welsh cakes? Yes, and he liked them. Yeah, yeah, because Gainey normally makes his Welsh cakes. Mm, well, he'd never had Barra Brith. I actually talked I've said that every day since the batch, and didn't bring them with her. To I talked him through the recipe and everything. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh, I don't think he'll do his own cooking, will he? Doubt. Uh, Brandon will do it, though. And I did ask him who his best friend was. And he said, Brandon, I thought, oh, good. Just as well, if Brandon's sitting next to him. <laughs> he wasn't actually, he was just, he was somewhere else, so we could have said oh, someone good. else. Yeah, he was going out on telly. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, anyway, it's Block of the Month. Block of the Month. Block of the Month. Now, just to explain to, if, if you've been not around, uh, seeing Rebecca show for the last sort of five or six months, what is Block of the Month? What's the whole plan behind right, this? Right, well, the idea is, is that there are 12 blocks, and then you collect one every month, and then if you want to, you make them into all a big into a quilt. Now right. we've done loads of block of the month, haven't we? Like birds and cats and yeah, dogs, and there's new ones dogs, on for tomorrow. So yeah. we've done flowers and stuff. So I decided <coughs> that with Amber Makes we would do a sewing one because that's my favourite thing. So each block features an item, like a, a sewing item or right. like a quilt block or okay. something. Yeah. So what you do when you get your pack, your kit, you get a set of instructions and a panel. Now the panel will make the block. Right. That month. Here. This so this seven. is this month. This is number seven. Can't believe we're number seven. Oh, is it seven. seven? But what I thought as well. Now, if you don't want to collect all twelve and you don't want to make the whole thing, then each block is standalone. Right. So you get all the pieces to make your block. Yeah. You get the pieces to make a small project that sort of goes with it. So we've done like a. Is that this bit here? Yes. Yeah. So we've done a scissor case, um, a tray. We've done a zip. All sorts of, but just a little project. Right. That's, like, this is this month. That's like your sort of little ex added extra. 
That's the petal part. So you get the you get the fabric on the panel and the instructions in the instructions of how to yes. make that. That's the that's the additional one. Oh look at that arty picture there. I took that. Right. I actually took that myself Did you? and all the buttons fell on the floor. It took me ages to pick them up. Did you put it on over there on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, now then each month though is a separate a different technique, isn't it? Or yes. something like well, that. Well some yes, they're they're not all different. Right. But there are lots of different techniques. So we've got piecing, we've got applique embroidery, FPP. So what What's EPP. this month? Though? This is piecing and applique together. Right. So what you can do is you can make the block with the fabric on the panel, or you could just cut the picture out and use that as, as another project. So on the panel is the illustrated one. Yeah. So if you decided, oh, well, I don't want to make that one, but I do want to make the quilt, you can use the illustrated one. But also in the instructions, there's, there's a project to use that illustrated panel for. And this month it's a cushion. It's a cushion. And if you collect them all, because all the blocks are the same size, you can use then any of the projects with any of the blocks. Oh, I see. So if you wanted to make week, month two into a cushion, yes. use this month's pattern to make block two. Indeed. And also if you thought, well, I don't want to make the whole quilt, but I like that cushion, you could piece the block yeah. and put it into the cushion. You right. Because they're all the, the illustrated panel and the piece blocks are the same size. Okay. So that means at the end of the 12, you'll ha if you've made all 12, yes. you've got 12 pieced or applique yeah. or whatever blocks, mm. you've got 12 pictures. So you yes. can make one ginormous yes. quilt so if you want to. So at the end, I'm going to do a set of instructions of how to make the quilt and we'll do a panel with the fabrics, the sashing and stuff. And I'm going to make one that's got all 20 on. Oh wow. So you can choose whether yeah. you do 12 or 12 24. 12 or 24. Uh, now, uh, uh, Hannah's saying down my piece, you've got a Facebook page. Yes, so when you join, when you buy the instructions, yeah. there's a secret code on the back, I hope. Right Where here. is it? There, got yeah. it, got <laughs> it, found so it. So you can join our Amber Make Sewing Block of the Month Facebook group, but you need the secret code to join is it. Is that secret code the same every month? Yes. Oh, okay. And then when you join it, then any then you can ask questions or you can interact with everyone. But also we put things on there, like we put the FPP pieces and the EPP pieces and templates and things. And now what, and happens, if I've got, uh, what happens if I haven't got Facebook and I need to ask you something? Just this email on the back and just email me. But also when you join the, the group, you get the pattern for free to make the block keeper. Oh, wow. Which is this... The um, first block keeper we ever first, did, wasn't it? The first block keeper. So the block keeper it's basically it's a book and you keep your blocks you can keep any blocks in it you can keep up to a 14 inch block so there you are you just these are all the past blocks i've put the illustrated ones now so in, if you buy any of the, the seven so far block of the month you'll get the code for the facebook page and the, on the facebook page will be that pattern and some people have emailed me who've got it and said i haven't got facebook and they told me the code and I've emailed them the PDF. Oh, okay, so, so. so if you haven't got Facebook, don't worry, they'll send it. Yeah, so PDF when, but when you join it, you get the, the free pattern to make the block keeper. Okay, brilliant. We'll go through the sense. past six a bit <laughs> later on, because we need to get on with this. So let me just show you what this, this month is. So this month is the instructions. Yeah, some people have collected them all and not made anything yet, because they get all made the blocks up, yeah. because then at the end of the, end of the 12 months, there you go. Ba uh, bank holiday three weekend means I could, might actually get started on block number one and get as many done as possible to get caught up with this one <laughs> before uh, before this one is delivered <laughs> from Andrea. Oh, Andrea, don't rush. You, you enjoy it. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So anyway, there's all the instructions for both the, the cushion, the piecing, and the little... Oh, can't show you the back. Yeah, that's the secret code. Okay, over 100 went in the break. Over 100 of these went in the break, just so you know. And then this is the panel... So I'll, sh I'll show you the panel, right? So that's your background. Your neutral there is your background. The two squares on this side are to make your little strawberry fruit thing. Then you've got your um, the full-on image there. Then you've got your basket weave for your making your, pa your pattern. Then the thing across the bottom. That's for the handle and the For the handle. The but look at the top here, there's all your applique pieces here for your scissors and your buttons and or your poppers or whatever, no buttons and your pin cushion to go in the basket. So you've thought of everything. For, all for fourteen ninety nine, which is brilliant. So you're getting, for fourteen like let's just think about this, right? For fourteen ninety nine, you're getting the pattern of how to make a cushion, the pattern of how to make the thing, and the pattern of how to make, what's this called? The petal pouch. The petal pouch, right? Like petal Plus, pouch. when you then get it, you can then go on the Facebook page and get a free pattern to make the block keeper. Yeah. All for 14 I'm getting overexcited, look. All for 14 99 Yeah. 
amazing. You'll never be a rich woman at no, this No, I know. But I wanted... You see, if, if you if you do all of this, you'll have this amazing quilt at the end, but you'll have learned loads. Yes, exactly. And, and enjoy doing thing. it. Because enjoy they're it. all little projects. You see, I'd be quite happy yeah, to sit down one afternoon long. and make this. That's a beautiful little project to make, And there's isn't loads it? of photos of how to do it. So it's, none of them are difficult. Yeah. But it means that you can try a technique. Maybe, like, you haven't done FPP before. You can just try it in yeah, a yeah, small yeah. way. There's Not no FPP on this no, one No, but number, number four was FPP. Was it? Four. <laughs> all the other weeks are on pre months. All the other months, sorry, are on pre-order, and I'll show you them at the end of this. So we got to get on with. Yes. Oh, got a question first. Rebecca, is there a panel of fat quarter fabric? You were yes. reading my mind. <laughs> yes, there that is. That goes with this month's block of the month uh, from Anne in Cheshire. There is, but th this is one that you've shown already. Yes. Yeah, so there? I used it for the cushion because around the edge of the cushion are pinwheels, and then on the back you've got this. Spools. So this, isn't this one is. A brand new one but that this is the fatter quarter that i used for this one we've got a brand new one for next month oh have you yeah. so the thing is if you want to you do the back of the cushion and all that sort of thing this is huge fatter quarters you've got cotton reels you've got big cotton reels you've got little cotton reels on blue i can't figure out what oh stitching stitching and I used that on the back of it. So that's what I used for this one. But it's not a brand new one. No, no, no. That's the one we matched in with this one. Yeah, but it's not brand new. There the is a brand new one coming month next month. It's a brand new one. And I've got other fatter quarters coming up later in the show as well. Right, OK. Now you're going to show us. Can we start? No, I've actually cut all my bits out in advance. I feel Good. Like, it's because like, you saw Cindy and she was all I, her steps. I feel like you? a Blue Peter queen. Well. So the way that you make this block yeah. here is you make it in rows so shall i put it flat and then we can see it better so and and it's all in the instructions now when you cut it out all the cutting out instructions are in there yeah you cut the background fabric into lots of pieces cut the biggest pieces first which it does say and they're in order so you've got some strips that go on the border so cut those first so you've got loads so you won't run out but if you cut the longest ones first that's best then it's all made in rows, which is really simple. The basket is done first, then the applique, and I've labelled it all, and there's a little diagram. So you've got row A, B, C, D, E, and F. Right. And then you join them all together. So I'm going to show you how to make row A. Oh, look, there's a... I'll show you. There is a diagram, you see there, that shows you how all the rows are put together. So you can see. It's quite simple. And I've done pictures of every single stage, so you've got a picture of every row, so you know what you're aiming for. Fabulous. So... The whole thing is the snowballing corners, which is used in all of the rows, nearly all of the rows. I'm going to show you how to do that. So for row A, I've cut all of my pieces out in advance and labelled them. So I would do that, but you could just um, label the back of them with a friction pen if you, if you prefer. I just printed mine out because it was easier. So row A squares, row A side sections, and the handle. So once you've labelled them, that's easy. Oh, I do need a friction pen forgot that oh there's nothing to... hang on oh is the one here yeah oh, okay forgot that bit honestly 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 you think i would i remembered my what sewing machine need now? and it's a ruler it? now what ruler do you need? any old ruler hi rebecca i've got all your blocks so far and they're wonderful i've learned so many deck techniques and no, enjoyed every one of them Aww. she's here looking for a ruler i've got a really big ruler now you is that one all right it's fine i just need to draw a line um, thank you, Karen. That's brilliant. I'm glad you're enjoying them so far anyway. So what we're going to do is snowball corners. Now, snowball corners, I don't know why it's called that, but it's where you cut off a corner of a square or a rectangle with a square or a rectangle. I don't know why it's called that. Is it because snowballs? I don't know why it's called that. Because it's gone round, I suppose, is it? Goes yeah, but round. it's not round, is it? Well, it is, if you look at it quickly. <laughs> Oh no, because snowballs aren't perfectly round, are they? All no, kind that's of... true. So anyway, that's what it's called. So what you do is you take a square yeah. and you draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other on the other side with maybe a ruler a little bit smaller than this one. Or anything really. But it's fine. I've only got to do, do two lines. But John's hiding behind the quilt now. I remembered everything else. Oh, he's got me a little ruler now rather than a great big one. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I've drawn my two diagonal lines. Now I'm going to sew them to the handle. So it's important that you get them in the right orientation. There is a picture of this step, but basically what I'm doing, let me show you on here, is you see the top of the handle. I'm going to cut the corners off it to make them slope because I'm making row A, it's the top one. So pin one one way and one the other way. 
I'm going to put a pin diagonally through there. April says, yes, I'm one of those. I've collected all but not started yet. My only confusion each month is if I need the extra quarter fatter panel, which you've just answered. Thank you. You, you, can, you can get them and add them to all the bits and bobs, or you could just use stash fabric if you don't I know, want to. I have a, in the instructions, I've listed the exact sizes of fabric you need, and I've put, or you can use this, but yeah. you don't have to, because no, I've no, listed. No, no, But it's quite nice if they're all going to tie in, if you are going to make all if the other projects. If you're going to make the others, yeah. but for the actual block, you don't need anything else. It's yeah. all on the panel. Right, so now I've put my... Um, my snowballs and then just double check that they are going the right way have a look at your picture because i have done them the wrong way and it's quite annoying we'll just turn it upside down if they're going the wrong way don't you oh well not if you've got one going one way and one the other way oh no if you've got them go and yeah, exactly. i have done that okay so now i'm going to just sew this right because it's a little seam i'm going to reduce the stitchlet a bit now you've got this machine why are you looking I so have, confused well, because i'm because it's saying i need a different foot and i don't want a different foot I don't know why it's telling me that. Oh. It's, do you know why? It's, oh, I know why. It's because Delphine and I have just been playing with it and we set it to free motion. It's all good now. Right, you're ready now, then. <laughs> it's because, well, I, there's a lot of questions I got about the machine. Yeah. So I said to Delphine, I've right, got 10 minutes. These are my questions. Right. And she answered them all. Okay, but you've forgotten to unset the machine. I'd set it to free motion because yeah. she was showing me how that worked. Right, so I'm going to reduce the stitch length a tad because it's a little seam. Right. Because you've got to be really careful not to sort of muck up the ends. But actually, Delphine explained to me about that. I need to change my, my plate. So yeah, you need to go on the time. straight. The straight yeah, I, I didn't know that. Oh, did you not? No, no. I mean, I knew it was that. I thought that was for, like, super fast sewing. I didn't know it was um, better. No, it's for best for straight, for, for pure straight stitching. Well, yeah. she said it, it's better for when you're doing things like this. It doesn't... It doesn't take the corner down. Yeah, yeah exactly. I didn't know that. It's because the hole's much smaller. Yeah. So it doesn't go through a wide hole with a zigzag, so it literally only let you go in a straight stitch. Well, that's it now, because I do, I mean, this is probably, this, the majority of sewing I do is all these little bits of pieces yeah. anyway. So. so how are you finding your new machine? <gasps> Absolutely love it, because I've been doing free motion quilting and free motion embroidery with it, and uh -huh. it's just brilliant. And how are you coping with having a flat bed and no free arm? It's absolutely fine. I did worry about that, but it's not too wide, no. actually. And I, maybe I don't use that too much, and there's always ways around these things. Oh no no no! Because if you work if you uh, work on a, an industrial machine, you've only got a flat bed. You know oh. what I mean? Lots of time I spent my whole time just working and on flat bed. And how did you cope with that? Oh, you just you just like you say, you just get used to it. Rather than taking the thing off and, and putting a sleeve on, you learn to sew the sleeve from the inside of the curve. What do you need now? The iron. Oh, pfft. it's really organised. Aren't yeah, it? we're very organised. Which one have you taken? The big one. Okay. Um, well, also the flat bed sometimes on them. Isn't I won't have the one with cling film. No, no, I've got a nice clean one here for you. <laughs> Why did you use the one with cling film? Last time Delphine was on with me, we managed to melt a plastic bag, one of these project bags on the iron. <laughs> Just suddenly looked and the whole thing was going, you know, when they start shrinking. We don't tell them things that go on backstage because it's supposed to look seamless. This was actually on air. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Is it warm enough yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it will be. Love this as well. 162.99 the iron. Oh. So when you've done that, now you can see, um, before you cut it, fold it over so it meets the corner. If you do, if you do that first, then, you, then you'll get a nice right square. If you cut the fabric and then do it, you don't know whether it's definitely right, because I give it a good pull so that that meets that corner. Brilliant. And then give it a nice press. Well, you got this iron as well then? Got this iron as well, I had a very expensive month. Yeah. I had been saving, but I bought the iron and the sewing machine in the same month. <laughs> That's fine. You're going to keep needing it? Yeah, I might need it again. No, no, I'll put it there then, okay. that's right. Um, when you've done that, then just cut off the the extras, because you don't need those now, otherwise it's too much bulk. So this is really simple, isn't it? That's really easy. Then I'm going to go, I've got row A side sections, and I'm going to sew them either side. Now just be careful with this background fabric because it's very pale right? and you just need to be, you know, just have a really good look because one side is obviously white and one side has got the print. It's like a calico effect print. So um, I'm obviously telling you things that I've done wrong. It's quite easy to sew the wrong side on. So just put that right sides together because we're sewing a unseamed fabric to a seamed fabric, put the seamed one on top just because you can then um, be sure that you're not turning that seam over when you're uh -huh. sewing. If you've got a fabric with two seams on both sides, you just have to concentrate more. Over half the stock's gone. This is one of my favourite ones, actually. Oh, is it? I just really like the sewn, but I like the cushion. I think it's really pretty. 
Where in your house is that going to go? Um, in my special sewing space. Well, actually, no, because you have to leave these here. <laughs> yeah, don't I, know. You? I just like, I think it's just a really pretty one. It's so funny. Yesterday, we were saying like about the guests when they make things. Because Dawn was saying yesterday, which bits do I leave with you, and which bits, and all that. And I said, well, let's get Rebecca Reed things out. And Kat went, oh, Rebecca Reed always takes her so for safekeeping. For sa yeah, I know. I know what happens otherwise. Yeah, we also know what your house looks like with all your projects all dotted around it. <laughs> you should see the top of my piano. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like that. Is it? <laughs> it's like a mountain. <laughs> Must put some shelves up. Right, um, what are you stitching? So I'm going to say that I'm going to just swap my feet over because they're so quick. Are you going to do what? I'm going to just swap over to a quarter of an inch foot because it's so quick with this machine. Now I yeah. know how to use it. Press number four. Da -da. That's magic, isn't it? Honestly, having a quarter of an inch foot. Never had one before. Have you not? <gasps> no, my machine didn't have one. It was an extra, which I clearly never purchased. Yeah. There were so many other bits that you could purchase that I did, like a concealed zip foot. Now, that's a good thing. But I never purchased a quarter inch foot. But this machine comes with it. Yeah. And then I'll just do the other one quickly. Right, and then I'm just going to press that open. It's up to you whether you press them to one side or open. Does it not matter? Not then? really. So that's entirely up to you. I mean, you can, if you like, be sure that you press all the seams to one side in opposite directions, all the block, all the rows. But I didn't, to be fair. What you can do is when you're matching them together, but not all of the seams match up in each row anyway, you can then repress them. Yeah. But it's to try and work that out as you go along, it's not easy. So there is row A, so that's the top of the handle. Right. Now, um, to save a bit of time, You've I, made row. I have made the other rows. So there's my borders, put them there. Because otherwise, the, the other rows are made in exactly the same way. Yeah. But obviously the um, handles come in different sections in a different place. So there's row B. Right. And there's row C. So it's the same thing, but obviously with these, you've got two snowboard corners to make this handle. Yeah. That's all in the instructions. It's all it? in the instructions. There's row D. Okay. So it's looking like a bit of an elongated handle. Yeah. Row E, you don't have to make. It's just a piece. Oh, okay. So that's nice, isn't it? So that's the top of the basket. Right. So um, I will join them together in a minute, but I'm going to do row F first. Now, row F is the basket. So let's move those out and I'll join them together in a bit. Um, is the bottom of the basket. Now, we could have just printed the basket. Well, we have printed it as a piece. Yeah. And we could have printed it so it goes alternate directions. Right. But you do get a different look when you actually make something, mm -hmm. don't you, than if that, that was printed. So. I've made that, but look, that's what it looks like. It's lots of little squares. So I've got a few here. What you do is you cut them all into squares. There's 36 of them. And then when you join them together, you put one that way, and then you put the next one that way. Could you not have done that thing where you throw three rows together oh, and then cut and it. then cut them up so you're not yeah ever... probably okay <laughs> but, no no i just think some people don't like so little squares that's all you it? could have done yes yes i guess you could have done fours but then i didn't know whether it would all work out it might have done never mind doesn't matter mm, good do little squares good point and you know you've probably got enough to do that so yeah. you just join them all together like this in little rows um, row one and three are the same and they're just alternate so I didn't pin them I just went like <laughs> this I can't even get that's that wrong right. that's right that's it I know but you when you're doing it your eyes go oh, horizontal vertical horizontal vertical so join them all together it's really simple just right sides together quarter yeah. of an inch seam that makes that then you join them all together then what we're going to do to get the little corner on the basket you have little corners so I'm going to just draw again this is exactly the same as your the snowballing okay make sure you check that you draw on the white side not the print side yeah because I could have you make a half square triangle if you wanted to you could but this well oh well this works better it's easier okay, I think okay. to join all the rows together I'm not trying to be difficult I'm just no, asking no, questions no, you, that people ask well I know I did think that but then you'd have had to join that into that and I think it's easier to join the whole thing together because I did think about that yeah but you yeah. could yes I'm not I'm, I promise you I'm not being difficult no, I know you're not. Uh, message you're from not. Jackie 
Here we go. Uh, ordered this block. Mind you, I haven't got the others yet. Just love the look of the cushion. So refreshing to know the experts can mess it up too. <laughs> Always. When Always. Did you mess it up? Well, I've said lots of things that this is I, the reason I know is because I've done them yeah, yeah, many yeah. times the wrong way around. Well, it's because no, you I, don't concentrate, that's why. I don't rarely, rarely concentrate. Yeah, yeah, that's what Hannah's saying. You could, uh, you don't have to buy all 12. If you just like this one and number nine or something like that, well, then just buy those. Well, that's why I did the extra projects because I think sometimes you don't want to commit to a whole thing. And you? also, sometimes, if you've got like, like at home, I've got about 20 quilts, right? And I don't want all 20 out all the time. No. But I love them all. And I keep mm. thinking, oh, she get. Whereas if I had a cushion and a quilt and a wall yes. hanging and this, then you can have them out all the time. Or, or have them, you know, have them out more yeah, often. Yeah, sometimes you? you don't want all of that. So no. that's, and like, well, it started off with the sewing machine block in number one when I made it into a sewing machine cover. Exactly. Cover, and then I thought, well, I've committed it to it now, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've pinned those on. You can see that they're going to go, just have another thing. Is that going the right way? Is that going the right way? Yeah, it is actually. Okay. Now I need to take my foot off because have you ever tried sewing does your machine not come with a quarter inch foot without the guide on it um, you haven't looked, this have one you? i have no idea okay ask delphine afterwards oh really it might have a quarter inch foot oh, without the have little the, thing the, the, like the ski on it yeah oh well i don't know but then she showed me there was well about the plate and also she uses a different free motion foot than I do. Oh yeah. Didn't even know about that one. Oh there you go. Well I decided I wasn't going to read the whole manual because no. otherwise I'd, I'd never use it. I'm just going to learn what I need as, as I you go. As you go along and then as, you learn the wrong way. And as a result there's loads of things I don't even know it can do. Like all the stitches. I did I did learn blanket stitch the other day because my old machine didn't have that. Uh huh. And that's fab. How old was your old machine then? Well no like only five or six years oh. not really old it's funny it doesn't have all those things on because you know when we first started at sewing quarter yeah it's when we had machines like this one but then my old machine did something this didn't which is a really a shame it stopped with the foot up and i do miss that can i be all open no can't. Can just be unboxing my elna 720 pro it arrived Ooh. yesterday wendy on the wet isle of white Fantastic. oh wendy get it out of the box wendy because yeah. i left mine in the hallway for a few hours and thought no get it out of the box yeah. and use it what did you do in the few hours that it was sitting in the box watch the telly oh <laughs> i thought you were going to do something like oh i had a very important jam to make or no and i and then one of the my sons came home and goes mum why is that not out of the box i went i'm just going to leave because that's ridiculous and he started getting out and that was that really were you nervous well though? i just thought oh because i had quite a lot to do and i thought oh i've got time to learn that but oh, then i'd okay. have just delayed it wouldn't i and yeah you managed to take a picture of it on your doorstep yeah i did and then i put it in the hallway <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back and watched the telly. Right, so now I've bought, now I've done the corners of my um, basket. Yeah. So that's easy peasy, isn't it? You see, and these techniques now that you're learning, you can then use for other things because you'll learn so many things that you think, oh, I know how to do that now. Um, and then all I'm going to do is sew. I've got so many pins and bits of paper now. I'm going to sew the, the little side strips just to make it the right size. Uh huh. So right sides together, but then turn it over because we've got the, we need to do it with the seams. When you do the seams, when you sew all your little basket pieces together, um, sew one row at a time and press all the seams one way and then the next row and press them the other because it's a lot easier to match up. Yeah. But when you sew the rows together, press the seams open because there's so much bulk going on in uh -huh. there and you'll, it, it'll be too bulky. Now you'll find when you sew this on that the side strips will seem like a bit short because that happens when you sew. Right. Because um, the fabric does. Now, I discovered this the other day. What you do is if you pin that end into your ironing board, this is my s top self learnt tip. Okay. Because you need to stretch that so it fits. Yeah. Then it stays in place. If, you, if you're in, actually in your ironing board, it'll stay in. And then that means you have sewn one end, that stays in place. You can then pin it in the middle. Because all of that seaming makes it shrink a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> John's looking at me now. Well, I just think it's called a block and press. <laughs> Because you could do that, yeah, but for something little like this, I always block it afterwards, the oh, whole okay. thing. But like each individual one, no. Or if you're sewing, you know when you're putting like a sashing or a border yeah. on and you want to do like, you pin it at the by the end and then halfway. Yeah, yeah, and half then you've got and to get half it all done. Yeah. I always pin one end to my ironing board so I can pull the other one and then I know it's all nice and flat. Oh, okay. But How you long's your ironing board? Can you imagine you doing that on this? 
Oh, then that I would do like in say quarters. Okay. So I would do a bit, but then you, by pulling it, you, it then fits nicely because they are. I mean, it will fit. It's the right measurement. It's yeah. just that all those seams make it shrink a bit. So with this one, you can actually just pull it and hold it. Yeah. But if you if it's a longer one, pin it to your board. Probably everyone else does that. I pick up these things and think I bet everyone else has done that. Yeah. I've only just found it out. And you've been saying for a hundred years hundreds of years i know i discovered the other day the best way to cut strips of fabric and how many strips of fabric have i cut and what was that well you know when you're doing um cutting lots of strips and then you're Shh. yeah and then you're sub cutting yeah so say you've got eight two inch strips from the full width of fabric yeah. and you want to cut like two inch squares from those now you can't pile up eight because you never get it right right it starts going off after yeah, about yeah, yeah, three yeah. but if you put on your cutting mat pat of two all in a row and lay and then line them up with the lines on the cutting mat yeah you can cut them all did you learn that from Sound street we no, do that, that quite all, often no i learned that all by myself okay and thought, oh that's a good but idea if you watch more often you'd learn these <laughs> but things but when i learned it i thought i bet everyone else does this anyway yeah. what's the matter Hat? <laughs> yeah she thinks subconsciously you've watched it here and then a few months later remembered it and thought you it was reckon? your own it's I like your eyes when you have a deja vu it's because your eyes are faster than your brain well i was just thinking well i can't cut more than three stacks really no, you can if you line them up like. well, well that that was honestly my self discovered the tip that, and then i thought but everyone else does that anyway yeah. emma bradford does it delphine does it well susie duncan does it really <laughs> i thought that i thought i've this is my new invention okay new machine new invention So when you sew over these um, seams, just make sure they're still lying flat. Yeah. So it's only a little block, but you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter if they're not completely flat, but it's good practice because the more seams that you keep flat, the flatter your block will be. Yeah, exactly. I usually aim for about 80%. Oh, do you? <laughs> well, because otherwise you beat yourself up, don't you, that yeah. you skewed your seam. But it's like when you're doing a diet, isn't it? So as long as you stick to 80% of it, you'll be all right. Yeah, unless the 20% is big fat donuts. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I know, they brought round all those pastries this morning. Yeah, Zena came Did in here with them, them, yeah. Did you have one? Yeah, I'm not supposed to eat them and I've eaten one already. No, I was really, I went, no, no. Yeah, they're I not gluten-free, are they? <laughs> I won't have one. Right, so there's my edges and um, up to you whether you press it open or to one side. I might press this one to one side. I always do it from the front, don't know why. Set your seam first, because that's nice. Yeah. Over 200 of these have gone now, once you've all checked out. Wow, wow. So look, there's the whole basket there. Um, so, I need to sew them all together. Yeah, you've only got about 10 more minutes. Oh, I'm not gonna have time to sew them together, am I? Well, no, to carry on. Okay. okay. If you didn't chat so much, maybe you would. <laughs> I think it's your fault. I've done nothing but sit here and just drink my ginger water <laughs> and get you a ruler get and a ruling. friction pen and all the other things you forgot. I remembered the machine. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's not your machine. Oh, no, but I remembered to, I remembered to make sure it worked before I came in. Yeah, because mm. Delphine brings her own, you see. I know. I'm not bringing mine. They're ever so heavy. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're not Your too little heavy car to... would be on two wheels and you put it on would. the back seat, wouldn't I'm it? I'm not absolutely sure the last time that I pumped the tyres up either. Oh, no. Oh, I can't be bothered with such things. I need somebody to do that for me. Uh, actually, somebody, some big butch man came up to Hayley B yesterday upstairs in the office and mm. said, talked about pumping up tyres and there was this machine on the desk and I saw, have you borrowed his machine to pump up your tyres? He went, no, he's borrowed my machine. It's Hayley Bryant's machine to pump oh, up your tyres. Oh, has she? So, so, yeah, some big butch bloke had to borrow her, I don't know who Oh, I really ought to do it. It's just such a tedious job. You're supposed to it? check all the time. Never. Never. I get the car service once a year. Twice? Just the once. Oh, just the once. Oh, yeah, once a year. Once a year. And I said to the man the other, when I did service, I said, oh, I said, the windscreen wiper intermittent's broken. I said, it just only, it doesn't work at all. And he said, have you ever read your manual? I went, oh, it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> and he said, you've got the switch turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I know. And I went, oh, I'm really sorry. You know, probably thought it was really stupid. Have you ever read your car manual? Does anyone read their I car manual? I only read manual? it if something flashes at me. I get it out if a light flashes at me. Oh, I don't read it. It's just... It's like reading a sewing machine manual, isn't it? 
Well, yeah, but if you'd done that, pages. you'd know about the plate and you'd know about all that. Oh, I know, and there was something else the other day. I said, he said, how many miles have you done? I said, I've no idea. I said, that bit's broken. He <gasps> said, oh, well, you just have to press this button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you oh, press no. the buttons and it tells you all different things, yeah. honestly. I didn't know that that button was there. Okay. It works. Yeah. It drives, doesn't it? So when you sew it together, just some of the seams you need to match up. But because it's all little pieces, they pretty much do. But just have a little look as you're going along yeah. to make sure they match up. And because it's only a small block, if they don't match up and you're not happy with it, just unpick it and do it again. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, because it's, a, it's got a basket handle, it does help if they match. Yeah. Now, I've noticed you do something that a lot of... Um patchworkers or quilters don't do most of them don't do a reverse stitch at the back of the front but you are well a lot of them don't because they're then sub cutting aren't they um so you can't if you're strip piecing and sub cutting no 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 when they're when they're sewn together like that oh i don't. always do i really annoys me when it comes undone okay. also with something like this because it's such little seams i'm going to press these seams open right and because of that i will need to yeah um, have the end secure. If you're pressing to one side, you don't have to, but they're little rows, and I think it's better if you press them uh -huh. open. And also, even then, sometimes they come undone. But if I'm, do you know, I, even, even if I strip piece, I'll reverse stitch at the beginning and end. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe it's just. Do you, know you start off as a dressmaker? Yes. That's why. Yes, I think so. Because I do as well. Yes, I do. And it's automatic. Oh, it's an automatic it? leaf. I automatically, any st any seam I sew, I automatically reach for the yes. reverse button, oh, whether you have to it. or not. Oh, maybe that's it. So I, I think it's because you're used to, because at dressmaking, you always do it. You always reverse at the beginning and end, don't you? Yeah. That is the, well, when I first learned to sew, like my, my mum, you know, you, you make a dress, don't you? Or a, yeah. um, a toweling hooded top. Hoodie is what is the first thing I made. What was it? From you know when you get the first time you have a dress pattern and you cut it out and do it. Yeah. It was a toweling, a red toweling hoodie. Oh, oh. I was so proud of it with the kangaroo pocket. Oh. Oh what pocket? Oh kangaroo pocket. Yeah yeah. Pocket, yeah. I was I had, had visions like of action. you appliqueing a kangaroo's onto. No it. no. It was a kangaroo pocket. I'm nearly there. Good. See it's coming together. And I've got a handle. And then you just put the next row on. The next row is easy because that isn't pieced. It's a good job I made all these in advance, is isn't it? it? We'd have been here all day. But that was the main thing I wanted to show you anyway, is that it's quite simple. And if you want to make, you know, if you want to design your own block, all you need is a graph paper and, you know, make sure everything is squares or triangles and then you can do it yourself. Yeah. Using this method. So you can turn something that's, on graph paper into fabric. So look how fast it goes. Like me on the motorway. I've it's also not bouncing anywhere. Anything no, is. It's a really it's lovely such a solid machine. Yeah. That's not going anywhere. I've got to do a speed awareness course. Oh, have you? Yeah, I'd be upset. I went on one of those. They're brilliant. Well, do you know, it said you can do it virtual or in a centre. And I was oh, about you have to, to click to the centre. Well, I was about to click on virtual and I thought, three hours on Zoom? No, no way. No way am I doing that. So I've got it in the centre. You know, they take your phone off you when you go in. Do they? Yeah. Well, just in case you cheat. No, not because you cheat, because what happened was uh, that there was um, a famous person in a what's it and somebody took a picture of them and sold oh. it to the press. And then there was another, uh, this has nothing to do with your phone, there was another one where the husband had one, the wife had one, they hadn't told each other. They both said, oh, we've got a meeting today. They both <gasps> turned up at the same. Well, you learn all that when you go to them. Oh, so. that's funny, yeah. isn't it? Why and also, you if you're in a room, tell? they ask if you know, I don't know why, at the beginning, they ask if you know anybody in the room. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why that is. <laughs> is that, isn't, do they think that maybe they're on a jury and they've got confused? The what? I think they're doing a jury and they've got confused. Maybe. Don't do many juries in Stratford, um, not garden centre. <laughs> we didn't do the garden centre. What's the thing where the horses run round in a circle? Race course, race course. <laughs> oh, mine's in a village hall. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm glad there wasn't one in Bath. I've got to go to a little village outside Bath. Oh. I took my sewing machine manual to the 720. When I went for a hospital appointment and read it while I was waiting for Carol Mosley. No, no. Whilst I was waiting, full stop. She wasn't waiting for Carol Mosley. She is Carol, Carol Mosley. That's a really good idea. Maybe that's what I should have, yeah. 
you kind of need that space and time, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I've been through a lot of it now because I have used loads of different things. Right. Watching Amber Makes, which I've got and Amber Makes. <laughs> so you're not even mentioned. <laughs> right. There we Yay! go. Hey. So there's my basket. Now, obviously, you'll give that a really nice press and press every seam open, but I'm not going to do that because I've got time. Yeah. Um, now, the next thing to do is the applique pieces. And I'm just going to show that because I won't have time to do it all. Oh, no, the next thing you do is put the borders on, but they, they just go around sides, tops and bottoms. Yeah. I'll do that later. So what you do is then you press bonderweb to the wrong side of all of the applique pieces and then cut them out. So as I say in the instructions, cut them out roughly with a bit of white fabric around the edge, otherwise you'll get bonder web all over your work surface and on your iron, and then cut them out individually. Then you have to arrange them. So I would say, that have a look at the photo, that uh, there's a photo on the um, front cover of the instructions, and there's a photo further on in the block, but then you can have a look to see how they go. So if I was gonna arrange them, if I'm gonna copy this, lay them all like how you want them i mean copy the picture or do you do your own i was gonna say do your own if you want can't do, you do your own but i would start off by copying it because then you can get an, a vague idea oh with the um scissors you need to cut that out it's just i decided they wouldn't transport very well but do cut that out so pop them all where you fancy them going now what you'll see from mine is that they go into the basket now there are two ways of doing this. If you, what I did with mine is I laid them all on yeah. how I wanted them to be. And then the bits that overlapped, I drew a line on them yeah. and cut them off. And then I pressed them in place. Right. So that's how I did mine. And then I did, and then I sewed them in, but I did a, a zigzag across the front to neaten it. But the other way of doing it is if you really want them to tuck in and really look tucked in is undo this seam. Or don't sew Between it in the first here place. And here. Yeah. But then it would be harder to get it to flat. I would sew it all so oh, you okay. can see where they are. And yeah. then just undo part of that and then slip them all inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you don't want to do, the way that I did it is I then cut them all across. Yeah. And then took the paper off afterwards because they're a bit more stable before you take the paper off. Yeah. Press them all in place and zigzag around the edges. Okay. And that's it. And did you put your tape measure down there? <laughs> no. Like that. There's my tape measure. I had three um, cotton reels down here. There, put the cotton reels. But you can put them where you like. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to copy mine. But the scissors are only obviously a little bit hot. They have got the ends yeah. cut off because yeah. you'll never need all of those. But choose, if you're going to layer them as well, once you've done that, if you're, they are layered, mine were. I sewed the fabric rolls on first because they were underneath. Oh, uh, okay, so put your ones on at the bottom of yeah. the base and then put the ones on over and the top. And then sew the ones on. Yeah. It's, just, it's just easier, that's all. Yeah, exactly. And Brilliant. that is it. What's next month? Uh, so next month is the Dresden plate. Because I love the Dresden plate. It's a really nice um, technique. Yeah. So I thought it'd be a really good way to learn how to do Dresden plate. Yeah. So on the panel, all of these pieces are printed as the exact shape, so no templates needed. Yeah. Um, so you make the dress, this is the actual block, and then the centre square circle, even, has yeah. got a sewing machine on it, so it's really, you will learn how to do your 20-piece Dresden play, which you can then use in many other things. So that's the block. Yeah. The free extra project, I feel my sound is so heavy, isn't it, is a pin cushion, which is already, so this, this will be on the panel, you'll get the front and the back and the sides to make a pink cushion. And then the extra big project, so this is using the illustrated panel, is the Dresden plate bag. It's a really simple tote bag that's got box bottom. Um, and then on the panel is a little Dresden plate, so I sewed that on the back. So this is the new fatter quarter panel with this, but on the panel for the Dresden plate, not the fatter quarter panel, but on the actual block panel, are the handles for this, just as a freebie. So if you want to make the bag, you've got the handles already, or you can use those pieces for something else. So that's next month. Okay. Brilliant. Right, let me go do a romp through. So this is this month's. This is this month's here. So you've got the basket, you've got the, the, the extra uh, project there to make the little uh, thread holder. You've got everything in there you need, plus your instructions. 14 99 14 pounds and 99 pence is that one. And how many left? 
Okay, 45 people got that in their baskets. Please check out, over 200 have gone. Over 200 have gone. Right now, these are all the past ones. Which order did you want to go in, Hannah? Reverse or from the beginning? Okay, so from the beginning, number one was the sewing machine and the sewing machine cover. Do you want the block for that? Doesn't matter which order you buy them or where you put them in, I'm just going through the order they were. So what date was that one? That was on our birthday, whatever that was. 28th of February, that was. 28th of February. And then that's the block. There's your plan, and, and Rex has got the block. There you go. That's the block. Brilliant. <laughs> and what was the added extra that month, That then? was the sewing machine cover, where the instructions show you how to measure your sewing machine to make a cover that actually fits yours. And was there a little thing as well? Oh, uh, yes, there was a little zip case. This there, one, yeah. little zip case with that one. And this actually fits my new machine. Oh, as perfect, well. you must have known. Goodness. You must have known. Oh, is there? Which one is it called then? Oh, the vintage sewing. Not that one, that one. And then there's a fatter quarter that goes with that one. Because that's used, but you can buy that to use for parts of it's your sewing down. machine cover. It's used in some of the others as well. Yeah, exactly. They all go together. Everything matches in, doesn't it? Yeah. All matching match. So that's that one. Then the second month was the who part, which was this one. Which was your embroidered. Which is your embroidered hoop. And there's the panel. There's the finished one that Rebecca Reed's got over there. And what was your little little thing on that month? Um, it was the needle case. Ne just little for needle embroidery. case. My soul is fed with needles, that one. Yeah, so that, that was your extra on that month. And then this was the special project. Oh, and that was the special project to there. Keep your embroidery projects in. Keep your embroidery projects in. Indeed. I'm chucking these your way. Thank then you. Then the next one was spools of thread, which was this one here. I'll put them all in here. Yeah. Spool um, of thread. Now, this is the panel you get with the spools of thread one. And this is the block. So that's your panel there. Then that was your block that's that Rebecca block. Reed's got over there. When it's made. Yeah. And then it's extra one was the little keeping it real case. Keeping it real case, lipstick holder. <laughs> and what it was the big was project? The oh, here, bag. That one, the bag, the bag, the bag, the bag. The bag. I'm going to forget these at some point. There's the bag, look. I'll put that in there so it gets all it together. Then the next month was cut once. Was, was the, F the scissor the cut FPP. once? This was FPP, wasn't yes. it? This one, FPP. This one, and this is your panel here. Again, on every single one, you get the project, and you get the printed up panel if you don't want to make that project. And that's this is the. And you get your scissor keeper with this one. So there's the block. Rebecca Reed's got the block there. And this is beginners, you know, from beginners, because it starts off easy and then it gets more complicated as you go along. But you, you can do this. It's written for beginners if you haven't done FBP before. And your little project in that one was your scissor ca case. And then the big project was the suitcase. Here. Oh, big yeah. project was the suitcase well, that month. Well, now. That's, that's not on the panel, is it? That's, um, that's a fatter quarter. Fatter quarter. So it's like a fabric, fabric Here, storage. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Or weekend away case, or whatever. P-E-U-U-15. Very popular fatter quarter panel, this one. Because it's got lots of hexes on, so I quite like it. Yeah. I know we're going fast, but everything's underneath <laughs> us on the, on the website, so if you want. Then the next month, was the Qu um, quilt. Quilt, st quilt star quilt star so there's the instructions this is your block so it's just it's miniature patchwork so you can learn the sort of theory behind doing a miniature because a lot when you of people say like miniature miniature patchwork it's not that there then no so this is the block okay but then that's the big one so this this features in the centre, oh, the see, illustrated look. panel, so this features, and then, then that echoes the rest of it, so the fatter quarter has the wooden fabric printed on it. Okay, so I've got that coming up in a minute You've got like then. miniature, and then big, so you get a medallion quilt instructions Brilliant. in there. Brilliant, you take Thank that you. then. So that was the panel, I'll do the fatter quarter that goes with that now. It goes there, this is the fatter quarter, QTUU61. 
and that happens. oh hang on it's, oh yeah the wood's on the bottom so it's the normal fatter quarter but you get the wood but look yeah yeah so it's normal extra. fatter quarter look then on the bottom you get a wood panel as well and that's like free because it's the same price as the other fatter quarters don't tell don't brilliant tell. uh 19.99 right then we went to kaleidoscope english paper pc yeah, so this is again epp for beginners that's your instructions here's your panel loads of these in baskets i'm not surprised cute this look there you go and all the tem the template the paper templates are on the instructions yeah and the instructions are thick enough that you can cut them off and use them for your epp oh or they're, and you, and they're not got writing on the other side of them they've got some information about epp so they're your papers and you just cut them and they're color coded yeah and you've got your secret code on the back of there but i'm not going to show you right and then from that and then that's we the made pan, that's the um that's what it looks like when it's done. Is that this? Yes, that's the little free project. The he so that's for doing your he EPP. Which yeah, this is your little project. And the oh, <coughs> and, and the, what was the big project? Well, it's got one? everything in it. Okay. It's the storage basket. Right. Oh, let me turn it around. So I've put the illustrated panel on that side, and then it's got handles all the way around. Okay, so we missed one out. Where's so what does that one go with? Oh, never mind. That one was with this quilt star one. We missed, we forgot. Oh, yes. This okay. is the same fatter quarter that we used for, um, that's got the wood on the bottom. Okay. And then today's fatter quarter, which we haven't done yet. It's not new today, but it's the one that Rebecca's used to go with. Yes. You can, they all work together, but you've used you could, this one for today. Yeah, I just you? used it on the cushion. Was it the one with the cotton? Co yeah, this one, this one. Just because it's got the little cotton wheels. Yeah, there you go. That. that was today's one. And because I put the stripy fabric on the back. Lovely. And then the day's panel is that one there that you see in there. Do I need to do anything else? No, that's it. I think you've done a marvellous job. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Bond the web. Um, <laughs> I know, but it's so complicated, isn't it? I think you do. I'm like really impressed. I wasn't talking Early to bird you. price today. 23.99 is where it should be and will be again at midnight tonight but 19.99 because it's from the early bird show brilliant lovely oh yeah yeah Beck's back in an hour's time right she's doing a needle case and she's doing her craft bag which yes. is also amber makes which is nothing to do with the block of the month it's a completely separate thing but the needle case one we get it in it sells out we get it in it sells out we get it in it sells out don't I we know. and it's basically we've got it back in but it's already selling on pre-order already there's two di now what it is is there are two di it's the same pattern but done with two different colorways right so that's one colorway there that's the sewing machine colorway and then there's the honeybee colorway but we're also doing a craft bag in that hour one is in the oh chuck, chuck them over here would you cat because we haven't got a picture of them have we oh we have now oh we have got them so we have got them now so there's the sewing machine craft bag and there's honeybee but look it's not just the craft bag look, you've got a scissor keeper a tape measure holder now 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 in my early bird show this morning we had a tape measure that we didn't play so look on look on look on the thingy and it'll be there down there at the uh, it'll be an early bird underneath anyway right don't go anywhere right because delphine is up next now she's doing the jason yenta quilt it's gorgeous it's like a big kaleidoscope quilt isn't it i'll show you a picture of that there you go isn't it lovely and it's made in the most unusual way now i think it might be the first time we've ever we've had these changes in the end quilts where you get a great big bolt of fabric and it depends where you cut the triangles out to create the different shapes i think it's the first time we've ever demoed it Hannah's very, very fascinated because she can't, her brain won't get round how it works at the moment. Won't get round it. Anyway, I'll see you in four minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 44 33.
Now, got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed. It's an exclusive interview. She has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic. And there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. 
We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Uh, Delphine's here. Delphine's here. Now, have a look at the washing line behind Delphine, right? It will look better. It looks gorgeous already, but yeah. it's going to look even better yeah. by the time you finish, isn't it? It is. Have I got to climb on a stepladder then? They didn't explain uh, that bit to yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, well, then fine. I don't mind if you oh. prefer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the more athletic one amongst us. Right. Oh, so it's a quilt kit called the Sunshine Kaleidoscope Quilt. At £239.99, pence, that's what it will become. But you, you're not going to believe how it's put together. So here's the pattern. I see all the instructions are all in here. All your cutting instructions, nothing like that. Then, you see, you get all of your instructions. Very, very thorough. Your instructions, Delphine's going to go through all of this now. How you put the quilt together. Everything. Then you've got all the templates that you need in here. Now, what I would suggest is some template plastic, I would imagine, yes. or something like that yeah. to go with this. Got to go on the website because uh, your te paper templates are going to get very tatty because you use them an awful lot. So what you get in the kit is you get one metre of jet black for your binding. You get one and a half metres of... Now, this is unusual, isn't it? Look. It's a Jason Yenta. It's from the same collection, the Sunshine Collection, and it's called Ivory Texture. It's rather lovely, isn't it? Now, it either looks a little bit animal skin, you know, reptile skin, or it looks a little bit, little bit arid, you know, like lovely old plaster that's cracking and things. Anyway, that's for your background. Then what you get is you get this huge bolt, and I'm not... 9.1 metres of fabric, right? Now, look. Look at it, right? So it all comes on a bolt, it comes on the card, right? I'll just show hold that, actually, Delphine, if you could just hold that end there. We can just show you, right? And this it's both sided as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it opens out. It's huge. Like this, right? Look. So it's just, it's just 9.1 metres of exactly the same fabric, but as you can see, it goes through blue, green, yellow, red, purple, blue, green, yellow, red, purple. And you're kind of thinking, how on earth, how on earth, how on earth do I make that quilt, that kaleidoscope quilt, out of this? Well, Delphine's going to show you. Now, look, it's 239 99 Oh! 40 pounds coming off! 199 99 so it's 66, 66, three times. That is fantastic. Just a great big bolt of fabric. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, the finished quilt is, it's going to be enormous, isn't it? Oh, hang on. I might have to look that one up for you in a second. Oh, it's on the graphics. I can't see the graphics from you, see. 64 by 86 and a half. Beautiful. Right, I'll take that off you. So, a what? Oh. We've already taken 40 pounds off. Shh, big moment. Okay, so where do we start at? Two. Two hundred and thirty-nine ninety-nine. where we started. I don't think she was meant to take the phone will go in a minute, you watch. That's her fat fingers, right? It should have been, you should have taken it to what, 1899. Yeah, she should have taken it to 1899. This isn't me doing shopping telly baloney. This is a genuine mistake now. 
179.99, it cannot go any lower than that. 59.99, that's an incredible price for all this fabric, for the technique, for everything. 59.99 on split pay, you will get it after you pay the first split pay, remember, no interest charge whatsoever. She had, she's got an email, of, well anyway, she shouldn't have gone that low, she shouldn't have gone that low. So Delphine, let's take us away from the price and let's work out how we physically do it, please. Right, okay, so I'm going to start right from the very beginning right. of uh, how you actually cut this huge bolt of fabric up in the first place. So, I've already cut two off because I just want to jump ahead, so I want to try and show you as much as possible. Yeah. So, when you come to cut your strips from the bolt, make sure, it does tell you in the instructions anyway, but just in case you... Um, miss it what you need to do is you want a quite a nice long ruler and you're going to cut an eighth of an inch from the top of your black strip so an eighth of an inch an eighth of an inch so an eighth into the black strip into the black strip so right that's you. how you're going to separate them all yeah so i've already cut a section off so this also uh, creates your border as well. So what okay. you see behind me will still get a lot bigger. So it is going to be huge, beautiful. Okay, so I've already cut those ones up. So that's how you will begin. So you'll take your time by cutting up your uh, strips of fabric. Uh huh. So then I'm just going to put one to one side. Now, <coughs> they do give you loads extra to make up for any waste. So if there are any mistakes, you get so much extra. But hang on, I'm confused now. So where's yeah. the, where have you gone an eighth of an inch? In, so you've take, cut there yes. an eighth of an inch into... Yes. Right, okay. Yeah. Got it. Right. So to make your kaleidoscopes, so you'll have your template, which is in your instructions. I didn't have any uh, plastic with me, but so all I did was cut it out straight from the template. I don't recommend you do that because there is instructions on the other side. Oh, okay. So uh, you have to keep putting it back on and read the bit yeah, of instructions. Yeah, so you have to read the instructions, yeah. So you'll cut out, so it tells you in the instructions about where to place your triangles, depending on what colours you're going to get. So with the ones that I've done, um, because obviously I wanted extra to demo, even though they do give me extra, I just made one or two of my own up only because I wanted to make sure I had loads of fabric to do a really good demo as well today. So what you do, uh, it tells you on the instructions roughly about where to place your pieces. So you will pop it on top of uh, the image. It's all in the diagrams. The diagrams are really, really clear actually. And then like, so if you haven't got any template past it, you can just... Can I just your, give you that yeah, there? Yeah, that's it. So here you've got all of your, um, so I'd recommend you if you get some post-it notes and things like that. So you do all your cutting first. Uh, so you've got your A1 all the way to your A8. That's going to be your eight kaleidoscopes. So those are the ones that form the big circles. I'm going to call them circles because what is the shape? I'm not very good at shape. How many sides it got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know. I can't count. Is eight. It? Eight. Octo. 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 Yeah. The octagons. Uh, but there's right? also your corner pieces and your side pieces as well. So they're also a different colour code. So your corner pieces are down here, which is your green triangles. They're going to make up your four corners. And the blue ones are for the sides. So uh, if I was you, I'd cut out all of the orange pieces and then the, followed by the other ones. So it just keeps it easy, makes it easier for you to, to follow. Yeah. So, and as you can see, each of the triangles are actually hovering over one of the images so you can copy that or you can do your own it's up to you but i and is it important you get it if you're doing the green one say is it important you get it in exactly the same yeah, place because you'll lose the, yeah, the shape yeah. so what i did i cut out one and then with the um, one that i cut i then made like a little jigsaw of where it was so i just pick like um certain parts of the pattern so you know, I've picked out those three dots in the centre. Yeah. And I'll hover that over and then just line it up and I cut them out like that. That's how I Right, but if you did nice. it with if you did it with uh, template plastic, you could draw on your template plastic those three dots and the outside of another so you know you're getting it exactly the same exactly, each time. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So but like I said, I didn't have any plastic, so this yeah. is my cheap way yeah 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 that's of, fine of and you do it. carry on right the way to the top you haven't got to save that top bit for anything else uh, no that's a, there's there's plenty of fabric you're going to have quite a lot left over to do all the projects oh brilliant definitely Excellent. yeah so but also these pieces um for example these aren't all waste because then you when you come to do say an orange section 
you'll have it say that way and you cut it out from there so yeah. don't throw all these big pieces away because you will be going back yeah so for those you need eight so i've already done five so i'll just show you a couple more uh, also if you have i recommend that you starch it or best press it before okay you go any further see that stem lines up quite nicely and you can just have a little reference <coughs> there you go you right then, John? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I haven't spoke to you today. Sorry, I was... It's all been a bit crazy. So, um, I thought you had to... I just said oh, she, I don't think because she had to do the school run, but it's no school today. No, it's because Nick's in Germany. He flew out. He left at 3 o'clock this morning. Oh. Yeah, so he flew out. It was a last-minute thing with work. So he's gone... He's in Germany, and the boys are at Fit for Kids. Oh, OK. I knew that to get but, somewhere, yeah. Yeah, but they're... Um, the earliest they can they can go in is eight o'clock yeah so i've dropped them and come straight here yeah fine so but no, they've only got one more day of it tomorrow and then that's it then oh okay but then you're not in here for again for a while i'm you? not in for a while no yeah. that's why i'm in for two days yeah. this week but um so now did you cut the bolt into lengths before you started doing this because like you've just had that piece that you had there that you yes. cut in half that way, did yeah. you cut the whole bolt into manageable length? Yes, I did. Because yeah. otherwise you're gonna have a huge while you're trying yeah. to find all the greens, you're gonna have huge amounts up here, aren't you? So depend so whatever colour you first start from, because obviously you've got four, haven't you? Yeah. So I cut enough so you could cut out eight. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this pattern's repeated twice. Yes. So and, that's, that, and then you cut And that then piece I cut it off. Right, otherwise okay. you'll yeah. Yeah. Be, I don't understand the why you have to do an eighth into the black there though. It's, f I think it is because of this black bit here. It doesn't say why. Oh, the width of the black bit. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. So there we are. I've got two more to do. Because you, on, on a lot of his, what you do is you cut lots of triangles this way up yeah. and then you cut them that, do you cut them the other way on that yeah, one as well? Yeah, only you do. for two. Oh, only the two, but then they've got a different, oh yes, they've got a different they border. Have the border. They haven't got the border. Yeah. yeah. So I'm quite rushed piecing that, so don't look too No, no, I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> well, no, no, because Delphine only got it a couple of days ago to actually do this. So there, I've so. been, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice how quickly it comes together. It's yeah. just, yeah, it's something you'll do over a, a week or so. Not yes, in, it's not, not in an a, afternoon quilt. No, although I, I don't know how I managed, but I did, yeah. It's all good. One, two, three, four. There we are. I'll just do one more. And so now, if you did the, if when you did it, did you cut all of your reds out, or you, did you do all of this cutting out first? Yeah. I, well, I always I did one block first just to see how it all came together. Yeah. And then when I was happy with that, I just did all the cutting. Oh, okay. So I have actually made the finished pieces for the bottom, but I just wanted to show you how it's all put together. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. So. Yeah because otherwise you're just going to be watching me cut out and just sewing these all together. Yeah. So I've tried to prepare as much for you to see as much as possible because it is going to be beautiful. It's going to be really big. Yes. There we go. So you'll keep all those bits, but I'm just going to yeah. put them just there. Okay. So let me just make sure I've got enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, two eight. there. Yeah. Okay, so now I've got all of my triangles. What you want to do now, now this is really important. You, what you're going to do is you're going to sew them right sides together, but make sure you do them in pairs. Don't be tempted to just sew the whole thing on because it's going to be all out of shape. It won't line up and because obviously now this is on the bias. Yeah. So make sure you do them in pairs first. So I'm just going to chain stitch those. So. I've switched my uh, plate on my machine to my straight stitch plate and my quarter inch. And so what that's going to give me is a really accurate quarter, quarter of an inch seam. So just line up the two black borders, that straight edge. There we go. And so right sides together. Yeah. So be careful not to stretch the fabric as you. Um, yeah, yeah. This is where your best press has come yeah. to. Now, what did you want to alter on your machine? Sorry, Hannah was talking to me. Did you say you'd altered something on your machine? Yeah, I've changed my plate. 
Because, oh, to the straight plate. Yeah, yeah. because my, this machine um, comes with three different plates. Yeah. So I've put the straight stitch plate on with a quarter of an inch, right. uh, quarter inch foot on. Because yeah. if you're going from any corners, you know when we uh, do a lot of piecing and you're dealing with small pieces or even triangles, sometimes your machine pulls it down. Yeah, yeah, even hole. the best machine do yeah. does. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this, because it's now got the, just the tiny hole, it's not going to pull. So it you just put the straight on, not the professional one. Because you've got three, haven't you? You've got your yeah. normal, your straight, and your professional so one. So your professional one, uh, you can only use the one foot. Oh, okay. So, um, so you can't use a quarter inch foot on it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So if you were doing just loads and loads of like curtains, lots of straight yeah, lines, yeah, 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 yeah. Then that's perfect yeah. for that because it's like I said, it's really quick. Yeah. And um, I asked Rebecca Reed earlier. Does that machine come with the foot, the quarter inch foot, without the the slide, this guide on it? Uh, don't know. Okay. Okay. Is the answer only because there's so many feet? I've not used. No, 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 no. That, that, that was just because Rebecca Reed was saying she had to keep changing her foot. And I saw some machines come with the quarter inch foot like the one you're using with the with the like slidey guide on the side yeah. and others come without it. There's some that you can, obviously with uh, with all of them you can, this machine you can do a quarter of an inch foot without putting that on yeah, it. Yeah, but that's so quite nice to do about the guiding as well, it yeah, holds it all in place doesn't I've it? I've just realised I've chopped me the end off. <laughs> oh. It's alright. Be fine. Sorry we're not using this one in the finished quilt, I'm just using it to show you. Yeah. Uh, I'm all... Sorry, I'm all of a. I'm all, right. put, I'm all put out today, you know, because I've just been rushing around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but just thinking a couple of hours time, it'll all be over. You can start your holidays. Yeah, I've got, I've got to just finish some drawings um, for my next project. Uh huh. And go and get the boys, and then I've got, to, I've got to think of getting them some school uniforms. Oh, crikey, God, it's nearly September, isn't it? They'll be yeah. going back soon. Yeah. So I need to go. They, they need new shoes and. Well, you've know, seen the size of Charlie, he's growing like a weed. Yeah. So you got the husband's credit card then? No, he's in Germany, isn't he? Oh no. Mm. Should have thought that one through. I know. I'll tell, I'll, I'll tell you what, if I buy the clothes, he can buy the shoes. Yeah, but you need to buy yeah. them all in together, don't you? Can, there's some of the things that you have to get the actual logo on the jumpers. Of course, yeah. So, But the apparently there's a massive waiting list for those anyway. So. There's a waiting list? Yeah. Mm. Apparently it's, it's going to take a couple of months for the jumpers to arrive. Well, they might hopefully they won't need jumpers at the beginning of September. Well, exactly, yeah. And they can make do with what they've got already. Yeah. So I've chain pieced those together. You've got a little bit... Um, Sorry? Looks like it's gone a bit gathered. Uh, what size stitch did you use? I've used just a 1.8. I think oh. it's my bobbin, because I've just wound my bobbin. So right, I can stretch it out. Oh, it's OK. I think my bobbin's played. Played up. Oh, I can make do. All right. Sort it. I don't need to change it. Okay, do So, what you'll do then is that you will press your seams open. So, I'll just bring this over. Your machine doesn't come with a quarter inch foot. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, oh, you've had a look. Yeah. I was wondering what you were doing. So you, it's really important you press your seams open. Open on all of them? Yeah. Yeah. Because this point here, down here, you're going to get quite a lot of... Um, oh yes, of course you are, yeah. It's going to be quite a, quite a lot of fabric. So what you're looking at really is getting these points uh, matching up. So when's your last day then, John, before your holiday? Oh, I, 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 it was only last night that I realised, you know, I was put on Facebook coming up next week and I thought next week I was only in. I've, I, I, I mean, on Monday, I've, Rebecca Reed was supposed to be, I was supposed to be in tomorrow. Rebecca Reed's now doing tomorrow and I'm doing Monday. So next week I'm in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I'm going to Ireland on Thursday and Friday for, for the quilt fair. Then I'm in here again Saturday and Sunday. So like I haven't got a day off at all for next week, wow. and then literally I go on holiday. Charlie moves, Charlie and Hattie move into my house, and then I go on my holidays then. So you're busy, 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 and then I'm going to be at the airport, like you know, I'm going to look a wreck at the airport, and the flights at something ridiculous. The flight to Ireland is whatever time in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, and then the flight to Kefalonia is also like five thirty in the morning or something like that. 
Yeah, it's, in the, it's been full on, hasn't it? It has, but then I'm weeks. off. Yeah, but then I'm off, right? So I have two weeks relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. I then get back from a holiday and Hayley's put me in for like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Have the Monday off when Rebecca Reed does the shows. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'll be exhausted then. You will be. Yeah, but you'll be missed though, John. Uh, I do what? You'll be missed though when oh, you're on no, day. Oh no, it's only two weeks. Right now, Hannah's really, really, really upset, right? Because... Yeah, but look, 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 right. So, so it, it was originally 200 and... Thirty-nine pounds. <coughs> had, Hannah had permission to take money off, right? So she then took it to one nine nine, right? And then thinking, oh, well, I'll just save another. T I'll save another ten pounds and take it to one eight nine because she's not allowed to go below one eight nine, right? She then did one seven nine. Felt dreadful about it. So look what she's had to do. It's just a slide here. Now some of it will be bleeped out. Right, the bit at the top is about asking for holiday. Can I see it on the big telly, please? Also, I made a complete boo-boo and took the Jason Yenta quilt to 179.99, not 189.99. I'm so, so sorry. What's the reply, though? Oh, Hannah's contract is on the line, everybody. Mm -hmm. But, you, but the thing is, right, I know, I know she shouldn't have done it, and I know, and, and I know some shopping tellies you watch and they go, oh, you're so sorry. That is a real, that's her apologising to our boss, right? Because she wasn't supposed to take it any lower. Um, so now, you're, you get it, it's a fantastic price. So you say, what would she do? It'd be two, three, nine, right? Yeah, under 200 where Hayley told to go to. Yeah, so 179, 199, 219, 220. How much was it? So she's taken 60 pounds off? Yeah, yeah. That's an awful lot. But anyway, take advantage. Take advantage. And when you're lying there with your duvet, with your quilt over you, think of Hannah. <laughs> Oh, she's cold because she can't pay her bills because she's been, yeah, 179, she, don't worry, I'm only joking, she's not going to lose her job, don't worry. 59.99 on split pay. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Right, okay. So, you're going to create your two halves and then you're going to sew them right sides together. And then, let me just show you the next. So you do two halves and sew them together to create the whole... To create the whole thing, but then you need your spare, tri you have the triangle. So again, this is in the... Um, the background the fabric. Yeah. This one, the um, te textured fabric. Yeah. So you've also got the template for your, these triangles as well. Right. So, so what, sorry, what shape do we physically make then? To start, do we make a square? Yes. We are going to make a complete square to sew yeah. together. All right. Yeah. So just so I can try and show you as much as possible. So I've, I've sewn the two halves together. Imagine I've done that. Yeah. So your, your, these triangles are going to form your square. Imagine it's on there. So that's right, yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you've got four of those yeah. to so, make a square. So obviously when you sew these on, let me just show you this. So what you don't want to do is line up perfectly on that corner because you're going to be completely out it won't be central so you just want to offset it would you find the half and the half and put the two halves together yeah and then you just uh, sew with a quarter inch seam right. across there and what that will do with all these triangles will my blue peter moment you'll make a square right Yeah. Yeah, with you. I'm with you so far, but I, I can see something else is about to, something else a bit weird's about to happen. Yeah. Oh no, I see it now. I can see it now. It took me a while because I could see there was the white octagon in between all of them, but you make the white octagon into a square as well. Yeah. And then it's really easy to sew together. Yes. What I couldn't figure out was all I could see was the edge of this octagon yeah. against the edge of that octagon, thinking, right. "Oh no, you're gonna have to do." What? But you literally make squares and just lay. Yeah. Fine. So that's what I mean. It's really quite yes, easy. Yes, yes, yes. It's it deceptive, isn't it? Very. It looks really cool, though. Yeah. It? 
So, but what you also have to make is, this will make up your corners. Let me just move these out of the way. So you'll be making four of these. These are your corner pieces. So these are just three with the two triangles on. And you've also got your side pieces, which is five pieces with the three corners. Okay. Okay, so now... So on the quick, just point out on the actual... So they're on the quilt itself. That's this bit here. Yeah, that's and that bit. So that yeah. three piece there yeah. is there, 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 and there. Yeah. And the five piece is there, 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 and there. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, would, I hadn't sussed it out at all. I hadn't sussed this well. Did you not? No. I worked out the triangles going into the middle of the kaleidoscope, <coughs> but I hadn't, <coughs> excuse me, worked out the rest of it. Yeah, so. Let me just take that because that's part of mine. Oh, yeah, that's not the other one. So, so you can, with it's got your cutting guide with these triangles, you can cut it exactly the way, you know, taking the template out and, cut, and laying them out on the fabric like that. Well, I, I didn't do that. Oh, okay. To make it easier, I, <coughs> me I measured the length and I think it was five, just over five and a half yeah. um, inches. And what I did is cut the strips, subcut into the squares, and then I just did half square triangles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it just makes your life a bit easier. So mm -hmm. that's how I did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got quite a few of those to cut out, haven't you? Yeah. So what you're going to do now is I'll show you how it's laid together. So we're going to lay that bottom section. So we're just going to lay together this line here. So I've right. already sewn. So behind me... I've already sewn from here upwards. Right. So we're just going to put on this last corner here. Okay. So to do that... Do you need that down off the wall now then? Uh, not yet. In a minute. Okay. And so you're going to lay all your pieces out. Obviously cut all your dog ears off. So now you could, they give you a layout, but you could put your hexes, or your octagons wherever, wherever you, you want. want. Can't you yeah. Really? I think it, 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 the, the pattern's just a guide really. You yeah. Don't, have to copy it exactly yeah like i said i've went off a little bit just so i made sure i had loads for the for the demo that's, yeah. that's lots you got this in your basket lots of you make sure you ch i know you waited to see the whole demo but that's fine but just letting you know so and then my other piece goes like that so i want to sew those three together in that order so just double check i'm happy with that happy with that so I'm going to sew this piece, this bottom section, to this right sides together. Okay. What? Nothing, you carry on. You're just, which ones are you looking at? I'm just confused by those bits, the, the five bits. Because we're going to cut those off. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're going to cut those off. I'm that's, thinking that's, that's going to make a straight looks, line. That's why it looks odd. Okay. But once I've sewn it together and trimmed it off, it's going to look... Perfect. That's when you'll go... Oh, yeah. yeah. I like them when they can be, when they're a bit of a puzzle at first. Yeah, I like it when they're a puzzle, when you've sussed it in your brain, you go, oh, I now understand that. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I've sort my bobbin thread out before my next demo, I think. Have you um, pressed all the seams open then yes, everywhere? Yes, yeah. all the seams are open. Yeah. And like I said, give it a good old best press. Yeah. Which I didn't have, so. <laughs> you haven't got any in your she shed? No, I need to get some more. We haven't got any either. And you just want to line up those points. Take your time to do those. I've just been sewing this. And at, in the green room so I've just been quite quick but take your time at home so I've sewn that one and now I'm going to sew this one also okay. right sides together because what these triangles will do when they're all sewn together these triangles form the square in between each of them yeah 
Um, Lo, I don't think it's called stack and whack. It was literally, you just cut your triangles out of your, I'll show you again in a second. I think stack and whack is where you put lots on top of each other, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <coughs> right. Um, only because even just the slight shift in the fabric, you're not going to get the accuracy. So I'll take your time to actually do, do the cut. individually. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh, don't rub it in, poor Haley says Vip. No, it's not Haley. Haley's the boss. It's Hannah. It's Hannah that'll get into trouble. Poor Hannah. Tell her to put a book in her knickers when she goes to Haley's office. The thing is, Haley's not in today. Haley's put, a, put a what in your knickers? Book because you're going to get the, like the cane in the olden I've never days. Heard that before. Oh, you're not old enough, you see. So <laughs> what you see is you got in called the headmaster's office at school, and you're going to get the cane. You put a book, an exercise book, in your pants so that when they smack you with the cane. Did you ever have the cane? Never. I was such a good student, pupil. What it's only later the, I rebelled. What did you get the cane for? Just like, well, no, if you did anything really naughty. It was a slipper, the slipper for not so, I mean. I, I, oh, I had the slipper. Oh, did you? I had the slipper, yeah, yeah when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or you got um, a ruler, a 12 inch ruler on the palm of your hand. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah. When you think about it, it's really weird because I always remember, I never got the cane, I always remember, I just happened to be passing the deputy headmaster's office as he was giving somebody the cane and it was just, it upset me for life really. But then I got upset this morning, right, how pathetic is this, right? I got in the shower, so it was pitch dark when I got up, got in the shower, put the light on, obviously the window was open, a moth came in, right? And it yeah. went in the shower and went down the plug hole and all I was worried about was, what will happen to it? Moths only live for a day, don't they imagine that? It's one day of living. And you drowned in And I drowned, I drowned a moth and <laughs> then I got out and there was another moth exactly the same on the wall and I was like, oh He's no. He's looking for his friend. Looking for his friend and Aww. I've just drowned his friend. I didn't get I didn't do anything. I was soaping myself <laughs> like this and he flew in. I was like, oh no, moth, moth, went straight under the shower and straight down into the thing. Oh, so that, your day didn't start well then? No. Oh, you are a sweetheart. <laughs> Bless you. Look at you, you look really upset about I was, it does, it, it's like, if I, if I, you know like where we live in the country, the animals run out all the time, don't you? The yeah. little squirrel runs out and I hit it. I, oh, I'm no. upset for the rest of the day then. Yeah. And the other day, I nearly caused a whole pi pile up because this bird, you know, they're what the big colourful ones that are really stupid. Not a parrot. We don't have wild <laughs> parrots walking on the street. We haven't got Not wild parrots. But over, is it a pheasant? A pheasant oh, just walked yeah. out and they're, bit, they're known for being stupid, aren't they? And it just yeah. walked out. So I slammed my brakes on. Didn't realise there was a car so class so behind me. Anyway, it's fine. I didn't hit the pheasant, but I very nearly got a car in the back of my car. Anyway. There we are. Well, it's, I think because I'm the first car that goes through the village in the morning, all the, all the pigeons are asleep on the road. Yeah, it's like when I drive here, because on the road that I come, there's so much on the road, you know. Yeah. Or, yeah. So, um, it's not nice, is it? Yeah, your fox was slightly different. Yours is an inner city slum fox, yours is. I just hate it because in Twickenham we didn't have bins, we used to put bin bags out and you'd hear uh, the foxes at night time and you'd have to go out in the next morning and put all the rubbish back in another bin bag. There we go, so I'm just giving it a bit of a press. Oh. Hannah's fox tried to sniff her apparently, maybe she thought, maybe you thought you were rubbish Hannah. There's a lady on the TikTok actually who's, um, she goes out and the same fox comes to her every night. Oh really? Who, yeah. And oh. sometimes he brings all of his friends and she just lives in like a you know quite a built up area yeah 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 well yeah, i saw more foxes in london than i ever do here i mean we've got really? a, a family of foxes in the field behind me and everything but you, you see a fox at you least twice a, oh you hear them at night time yeah first time you hear a fox making noises at night time it's terrifying isn't it right so you've put those so two together so i'll put those together and then i'm going to put my last corner piece on right so i'm just going to line it up so i just want to match these two points here yeah so I'm just going to put that on. Yeah, brilliant. I was the girl in the history, I was the first girl in the history of my school to get six of the best, says Viv. Oh, Viv. Six of the best? What, yeah. What's that? Is that the cane? Six swipes of the cane, yeah. Ooh. And then should we call pheasants dur ducks because they go dur dur, what car shall I run under next? Well, not next, is it? Just what car shall I run? Oh, they, they, they just come out, don't they? Like a, ooh, it's a rogue, ooh. <laughs> that, that's like Hannah, the day I drove to her village, right? And she didn't know I was going to drive along. And she was like, well, and she was like this, just walking along like this. 
<laughs> no cares in the world. Remember, this grunt should be £60 more than this. £60 more. £179. Now, as the show's gone on, more, 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 more people put it in their basket. I wasn't going to say, oh, check out, check out. But I think you need to start checking out now because we're getting to that limited sort of stage now. So, my last corner piece is ready to go on now, John. Do you want me to go on? No, I'll do it. You carry <laughs> on, Ellen. <laughs> Health and safety. <laughs> And up a ladder at my age. Whilst I climb the ladder, Hannah wants me to talk and sing as well. The pewter. There you go. Thank you, John. You're welcome. I've got a message, have I? The quilt is beautiful, Delphine. What level would you say it was? Um. It's very repetitive, so a confident beginner. Well, yeah, but also but you, if you've got to be good at matching your points in the middle as well, haven't you? It's very forgiving with the points. Oh, is it? Yeah, that bit's quite, that's easy, that bit. Right. But the, to make the squares, because the other fabric's quite light, it's quite forgiving if you do make the opposite. Oh, mistake. brilliant. So, oh, that's even better then, isn't it? Because it is just quite repetitive. And then once you've sewn all your, your, your kaleidoscope thing is, you just... It's yeah. a straight line. So many in baskets now, you do need to start checking out, especially with that £60 off. Oh, now, because she's crashed the price, it goes back at midnight to the original, original price. £239, 99 pence. Goes back to at midnight. Right, so at our primary school, we had one teacher who would throw the blackboard rubber across the room, take the pupils if they were chatting in class. Yeah, Mr Armstrong, our history teacher used to do that. Or chalk, bits of chalk. He was good at bits of chalk. Right, okay. So. Oh, can you manage? <laughs> so it's going to match. So you want to match these squares here. Right. So I'm gonna oh, so you've got two black bits together and then the squares in between. No. No? That's, no. Oh, hang on then. Aha. That's the one. No. Where's your square then? There, there, there. That's it, that's it, that's it. The square goes there. Mm, no. No. Square goes there, but then you've got two black bits no. of them. Oh, so we were just saying, it's very easy oh, for Oh, here, here. There you go. There. Right. Whew. So basically, you haven't got the fourth, that's what it is, you haven't yeah, got the fourth. Yeah, because all that's going to be trimmed off. Yeah, yeah. It, it's easy when you're lying it on the floor. Yes. <laughs> Which is what I've had out there. So then, I'm going to sew it like that and line up that seam there okay but yeah. well, do you want clips do you want anything i could clip it but we've got but oh, i can crack on and do it okay go on then yeah. so got lovely home. clips that's all i was saying clips for because i've yeah. got some hemline gold fabric clips here if i was making this for myself i'd take my time yeah and 589 yeah. these are Hemline gold small quilters clips, 30 pieces. There you go. They're rather special, aren't they? Nice Christmas present, those. 30 clips. That doesn't seem right, does it? 30 for 5.89. Very good price. Actually, that's a brilliant price. The pricing of this is very weird. Because aren't 10 normally 7 99 <laughs> Yeah. These are hemline gold. Anyway. You're right over there. Yeah. I'm just lining up my points as I'm going. I yeah. pretend to be French when I upset a man because I broke for a pheasant once. He called me stupid and walked off. donny has got no right to do that. No right to call you stupid at all speak French and no, I often do that <laughs> it's like a little picture I've got on my Facebook page it's like two little old ladies escaping from a village and one said you don't speak English and I said it was just fantastic can you speak French John I can speak it with a Yorkshire accent 
Go on then. No, no, I'm not going to do it now. I have to be in France to do it. No, because when I did that interview with the vampire, I had to go and pre-fit all of the French extras. Yeah. And the whole team that were there were French, you see. So, of course, they're chattering in French. So uh, I had to pick it up. I, I could speak. I did, I've done O-level French, but... I love that film. That was one of my favourite Wait, Interview with the Vampire. That's why I called Louis, Louis. Oh, is it? Yeah, after, oh. after Brad Pitt. Yeah. Because he, it was... Um, a line in it that says, oh, Louis, 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 stop whining, Louis. So after that, I was just I just love that name. Oh. So there you go, that's why he was called. Oh. Yeah. Um, why do I do it in Yorkshire? I've got no idea. No idea. But I've got a lovely certificate at home saying how, how good I was. They had a certificate printed up for me. I went to sneak a sweet out of my desk and the teacher was behind me and slammed the lid on my hand. Oh my word, when you, when you think about nowadays and all the things you can and can't do, we lived in a world of like, you know. It's a completely different time now, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Uh, Beck says years ago driving along country road I swerved to avoid a hedgehog, crashed my car into a hedge. When I got out and looked it wasn't a hedgehog, it was a bread roll. <laughs> Um, no, I, I don't think I've got a shoot near me. Um, oh, wild pheasants would be on the road. There are thousands of them. Thousands, but it's all year round. It's not particularly bred ones. My son is called Elliot because as I gave birth, I said, oh my goodness, it's E.T. Don't understand that one, Lo. Uh, went, uh, and that was it, that was it. Oh no, I got the slip on the last day at primary school. On the last day? We just played games on the last day. Uh, I had wanted to climb the band climbing frame for years, so I waited for the last day before we moved and climbed to the top. Thought I got away with it, but sadly not. Oh. You see, the, I do live in the middle of the roads near me are little tracks. They're not proper roads. They're uh, they're like little tractor tracks. Some of them. Yeah, you're sort of cut off on your your village, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Good pub though. It's definitely what on the road. I see. Oh no. A se I'm not laughing. A seagull took our last goldfish out of mum's pond and flew off with him. I was upset for days. Oh, Stephanie, I'm not surprised. Didn't you put a net over it? You should have had a net over it. Mind you, what's the point of having a pond if you've got net or grill grilling over it? Yeah, the heron took all of Hannah's fish. Not from where she lives now. The pond there's not big enough for herons. And, and Hannah's mum thought the heron was a pterodactyl, but there you go. Huffing and puffing over there. Woof. It's a big one. Yeah. Do you need some help? You're right. I'm just gonna give it a press right, and then. then we'll trim it. You definitely need a press. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Wafting. Wafting. Where is it now? There it is. There it is. So I'm just going to give it a good old press now. Oh, Elliot, it was the little boy in the film E.T. Oh, I see. I thought you meant that your son looked like E.T. I was trying to work out O-M-G-E-T, how I could spell Elliot out of that. <sighs> At home, I would take, honestly, I would take more time just yeah 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 yeah. wanted to show you as much you're going all quiet on me john i'm just watching an, a master at work um <laughs> sarcastic <Huh? laughs> you're sarcasm i wasn't being sarcastic <laughs> right there's so many in baskets you do need to start checking look we're at the end of the hour already yeah, 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 but people are checking out, but there's, I'll tell you, there's 36 people with it sitting in their baskets right now. I don't, because yeah. I won't have time to put the borders on no, no, that's in this fine. hour. I'll do it on my break and I'll put the borders on. Have you prepped the next one then? Yeah. Oh, good plan. Then. I have, I have, yeah, I've been living and breathing quilts. Yes. Yeah. So. Do you want me to move that out the way now? So now you've got your quilt so we need to just quickly trim these off right 
So it is in your instructions. So there we go. So nice big ruler. We'll hold it up. I'm not going to hang it up. It'll take too long. So and before I commit to cutting it, I am just going to use a longer acrylic ruler and a rotary cutter to trim all sides of your quilt top, being sure to leave a quarter inch seam allowance. Right. So I'm going to go and do that. Right. So you're going to be cutting.